Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Let's chat a little bit. I think, uh, I'll double check to the points, but I think we can officially say that people have given up. I still see some progress on the atrocities. I, I see, like, maybe 100 points every day. But obviously, it's not going to hit 1,200 in five days at that rate. So... <laughs> Forest almost at 100,000 points, to no one's surprise. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the uh, admins eventually think of uh, the event overall and what they're going to tweak for next year. But for now, I guess we'll uh, check to see what kind of timer it is in the game itself. And that will make a determination what we play. Let's hop into the game and do a quick little check. 982 beat time. Uh, not quite even beat. We have to do a little something before even beat. But welcome, Marco. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. I guess while we're waiting for people to come in, potentially either do a solo TTF or a small TTF. Before we get into even beat stuff. Get it out of the way early today. I can't believe this character is so close to leveling. It feels like an eternity ago that he was like 150. That struggle to get him from like 120 to 140 was something. But then once he passed that point, wow. Smoothest level up so far of all the hunters. No contest. Hugh Castile wishes she could clear as fast as he does. She's very accurate, and it helps if I'm doing something like Hell Runs and Temple or whatever. It is what it is. I don't see anybody waiting around. Oh, Marco's here. Welcome, Marco. A level 88 character. Hmm. Hi. Right. I have something I think we could do with just two, two characters. While we wait for people to come in. No, no worries. With Hugh Cast, you could do anything. You just have to believe. Okay, we're just gonna mess around until even beat. So let me know if there's any anybody just logging in that would like to hop in. We'll, uh... Do whatever, but I'm thinking episode 4 will be the big focus tonight. I'm hoping to get a Heaven Striker. That's kind of one of the final items remaining that we haven't received. We technically got a Cannon Rouge during the anniversary event, but I would love if we saw a Dorfon Eclair at some point. So if we got a Dorfon Eclair Cannon Rouge, that's like double the checklist. I'm assuming nobody else is here, so I'm going to proceed because I haven't seen anybody say anything. So as always, we could just do very quick Seal J hunts. All we need is damage. Ducast is okay with that at all levels. So I'm gonna buff, and then Marco will probably handle some traps. And I'm gonna handle deleting the enemy. I don't know if I walk forward far enough. Yeah, um, my enemy. Aww. I lined up with him, sadly. Then again, I thought I was gonna kill the other guy a little faster. That was on me. I should have sacked special. Got very greedy. And more people I would consider the orange ID Gibbles resets. I do that, that's annoying. Yeah, we just need to make sure he stays frozen. There's too much of a gap there. Like up these boxes.
I'm gonna dodge that. I'm gonna S red again. Good Marco. Yeah, if you don't use these, you're probably gonna have a bad time. How did that not kill? That's like actual insanity. I'm gonna do a drive by freeze. I'm gonna focus on the far target. Really gonna shield the shield? You, ridiculous. I can actually heavy attack when they're frozen. Actually, a big time save. Good to know. Welcome minus X. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, knowing I can heavy attack there is actually kind of insane. The big time save, although that is a time loss. What am I freeze trap? Oh, I don't have a bound on that one. That's why. There we go. This is indeed for Metrian Odyssey 4. Also, why couldn't I hit him with that accuracy? Can please? Now I feel like I'm being trolled by Gaigui. How annoying. It's untargetable for me still. Come on. <laughs> Wait, is his invincibility ever gonna go away? There we go. Thank you. What a troll. So we'll wait for people to trickle in. We still got 14 beats left on the clock. If anybody wants to hop in, I'm willing to do a r full run of something. I just figure with two casts, there's not much else I can think of. But, uh, welcome minus X and Imperimeter. Hope you're both doing well. Uh, this is specifically, I don't remember if I mentioned I got distracted, a train out of C4. Relic. Okay. We could do a forest run, but Sky ID is not really a useful forest run. So between us, neither of us could host. I have never played 4. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was waiting for the Untold versions to come out, so I didn't even play 3. Cause I, I played Untold 1 and 2, then I went straight to Nexus. And I, I broke Nexus. Where's it 5? No, I broke 5. I'm sorry, I didn't play Nexus. I broke 5, and then I didn't play the game because I broke it so hard. That poor game. I like the fact that I hit max level in like under four hours to me was kind of insane. I'm like, I should not be allowed to do that. I'm sorry. I that did not take a lot of time to do. Especially since I only had two stratums unlocked. I should not have been able to hit max level in under four hours. That was that was definitely a design mistake. I don't know what they were thinking. Got confused because he started teleporting on me. I should kill him. That was weird. I only want to pull one this time. I think the mistake is I pulled both. If I do this, I should be fine. There we go. Now I should be good. He should not be able to... There we go. That's what I was looking for. Need the aggressive vibration. Also, why can't I hit him? Hello? Yeah, so please. <laughs> it's not a solid object. I don't know why that blocked my shot. And please. His vibrating was too good. What I want to do is kill this and then come over here. I should be good. Yeah, if I'm over here, he can't hit me. Mistake I did last time.
There we go. And knowing that I can hit the heavy attack there is actually kind of crucial. That saves a lot of time. I'm not messing around with Gaigui. This thing needs to go. Yeah, if you get the early freeze and device at a high level you cast, you kill them very quickly. The problem is when they decide to just... Waste time like that. So, so that's the downside. If we don't get the early lockdown, he just repeatedly does this and I, I just can't hit him. But I need him frozen, like, immediately. Still need him frozen. Let me damage him here. I said we should be able to get through his nonsense. Kill him real quick. Revive, pause trick, freeze trap, keep running. Man, I just wanted one at a time. I didn't want to fight both. Ugh. I, I freeze the other two because I just want them locked down, but I guess the other guy flew off or something before it detonated, or it missed. Because now I'm in the wor worst position where I'm between like three of them. Please trap, please, I beg of you. Find it. Yeah, that's fine. Are my... Oh, you know what it is. I talk... I toggled something yesterday. I think one of my buttons is reversed with the other. Yes, that is what is happening. Okay. I was like, I'm hitting weird buttons on my controller, and I'm like, why am I not getting inputs? I'm looking at the bottom of the screen react. I'm like, no. I'll go set that back later. So we'll do, like, one more run. Then I have something we could do as an alternative. At least I could say I did seal J-Sword today. Yeah, we're just learn learning, or looking to burn 10 beats on the clock. I'm thinking of playing Ramar into uh, episode 4. I don't usually do it, but I figure it'd be interesting to give it a shot. Congrats on hitting 89. Yeah, it's definitely awkward. If you had an S-Red Blade, I think it would go faster. Because I'm the main DPS, but I also have to buff, which is awkward. But, like, if we don't do it, we just don't do damage to Ilgil. Shift that matters. Why... Why would it ever think that that was what I was looking to aim at? <laughs> yeah, so please. I went backwards, I held forwards, it corrected to the far right. Thank you, PSO. That's not at all what I was trying to do. I guess it was technically closer. Air quotes. I think that'll hit me, yeah. Yeah, I need to figure out, like, the exact spot to stand in. Because there's ways, like, he doesn't jump at me at a distance, and somebody does. Like, was I just too close there? I just need to learn that spacing a little better. Because that's the main reason I get hit. I pulled the second one by accident. I don't mind summoning him, but he can't actually do his other attack. Like, slightly out of range. Let me take a step forward. That was rude. Yeah, like, if I stand here, I know this other guy will not do anything to me. Places, please. Welcome, Draco Cougar. Hope you're doing well. Make sure all the boxes get popped. And we need S-Red Blade. Glad the little mini guide helped. We don't cover like a oh, big extensive group, but like just the fired ones. It's targetable. No boxes, no box caliber. I can 
gonna unleash some big damage here. I tried. I was gonna say, I know I can burst it through the shield. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Let me get this. I might be able to actually out damage it here. Let's just focus on this one, see what happens. Oh, I wanted that freeze trap to go off so much earlier. I thought it was gonna go off. Damn. It waited like exactly three and a half seconds too long. Freeze trap, please. There we go, this should be GG. Um, rip. Okay, let me collect this. Out of space. Why am I at? Oh my. I was like, why am I out of space? I, I I only hold anniversary stuff and materials. I guess I threw away my evade earlier. Okay. Um. You know what, since we're waiting for people, I have an idea that would give XP and is still a valid run. It'd be much easier. We say we could say we did seal J Sword today, so that's off the table. Bringing in our blue phone Newman. I was gonna say, is anybody in the very hard territory today that's looking to climb to ultimate? It still eludes me. Hello, remote battery. A perfect quest for low numbers of characters. I should do. So if we do very hard mode episode four, uh valid hunts, double photon crystal chances, fast XP. Since we're kind of in the low digits in ultimate, this is still gonna level very quickly compared to just doing ultimate runs. Never sleep on how broken XP is on episode four. We're going to do probably a couple massive attack Bs, and by the time we're done with that, it should be even beat. We're actually probably just one on very hard mode. And then I think I'm going to switch to the Pew Pew laser after this. the two of us. Let's move to B. So he should be able to combo kill some of the basic enemies here because he has a Hugh cast. Then I'm going to provide him the shift that he needs. So by the time we're done with this, we should be lined up pretty well. No worries, remote battery. So let's see if we could get another chance at uh, Ignition Cloak. I would like to say it's one of the things I kind of want. Not gonna lie. Also, the fact that two fireballs do 700 damage there is disgusting. Look at the damage. Hmm. Hmm. I care not what they do here. There are a few, three people trying to come in. I was gonna say just let me know. I'll wait because I'll otherwise assume you guys are doing other things. Light Wars is real. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be switching over to Ultimate in a little bit. Yeah, see, 172 XP a second is uh, very silly. 
XP is very, very silly. Yeah, this seems fair. Oh, it should be the Pew Pew Laser o'clock very soon. Uh, I forgot to bring demons, so Gertabulu is going to be interesting later. I can't believe this does 700 damage. See, this is why all the bonuses matter. The two fireball kill is kind of insane. I'm gonna get Dorfana declared in very hard mode. The one of fun of getting trolled. Maybe they get drops anything good. That's the worst part. If it was hard mode Dorfana declared, it would actually be a uh, photon crystal. I wouldn't even be mad at that. But I, th I think on this ID it just sucks. I don't think it matters what it is. There we go. Goodbye, Zoo. That was faux new world that would have killed so sad so i should probably reapply buffs since i'll be busy casting for like at least a solid minute yes yeah, so even though he's 89 he should probably level twice during this class the rise he hasn't already to be honest this xp is very silly Oops, a little off center here there we go Where's the zoo that I'm not hitting it? Okay, there we go. I must be standing in the wrong spot with the visual cue. Because I know I can stop that dwarf from from hitting me. I must have to stand, like, over here. Yeah, maybe what it is I have to line up with this. I think I'm, like, over a little too much. Uh, did I bring my other merges? No, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I just prefer to Rafoe here. But since I'm low in number of people, I might just stick to Rafoe, even though I typically Rafoe. Like, I'm gonna do this to soften up the next wave. Match. Double 90. The dwarf. I was gonna say the dwarf one's already dead. GG. Well, we didn't get dwarf on declared. I'm kind of happy. The salt from seeing it would have been real. Go pick up my badge. Dream music plays after the great massacre. Back to magical piece. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, I do think this quest is still worth playing, even as you enter ultimate. Unless you have, like, a really powerful team, this is probably the best way to level if you have, like, average forces. Like, nothing in the 30 techniques, for example. Like, just entering ultimate, or characters that are just, like, literally 80, 85. Because it's like, you could put your stats to good use, and then make this worth clearing. Like, two forces making up for one high-level force is totally valid. Like, I'm doing 700 a fireball, but they just need to do 350 per fireball, which is not a really high requirement. Like, even if they don't have the Gafo- like, not having Gafo emerge definitely hurts. Don't get me wrong, but like, even just like, plain fire staff, two fire staffs, probably good enough. Low 80s forces. Unless you are like, truly devoid of materials, it should be doable. Is, why don't I tell him to get out of here? Wait, did it just, what? Something weird happened. How did that Rappy survive that long next to me? I'm so confused. Something weird happened. I'll have to rewatch that later. Like, it legit was sitting next to me, but it didn't die to any of the like 20 Gufoes I had sat out there. That was weird. Was it paralyzed in the sky or something? I'm trying to think like how it could have existed that long without getting hit by a Kafoe. That's not a normal scenario. Alright, Grand Detonator, I need to Ultra Dead. We got some grants. Couple fluids. Looking pretty good. Nice six 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 CP. Yeah, this is another room I just like to Rufoe a lot, just because it's not worth Gafoe stacking. It takes too long for the enemies to walk into it. I'm gonna do my little pause trick. Where Rufoe can hit both of these groups if I need them to. Like, I just let the front group advance a little bit. I can hit both. Or in this example, he teleported to me. So I get to hit both Pyrogorons. This is an example where I actually just use lightning straight up to kill, and I don't bother targeting the Marissas. The Marissas take a surprising amount of lightning damage. I think people's first instinct is to see the Marissa in fire damage, but you can just kill both with chain lightning. That's what experience tells me, because I don't have to do anything other than Gazan kill that area. Another example where technically if I was over there, Kafoe would be decent, but... You know, low number of players, we gotta be able to uh, do stuff like this. Oops. Player error. You can see fire still does decent damage, so that would have been one last cast if I had my uh, Rufo emerge. Because I cast, I think, four times to kill instead of three. Here's an example where Razan shuts down this group, and it does okay damage to everything. I would just go until the Goron detonators die, then I switch to Rufo. Should clean it up pretty nice. It's nice and simple. Arm casting. Alright, so it's now an even beat, so we'll just finish up this quest. Sadly, no rare rappy so far. Also, I probably should have helped the other side, that was my bad. Could have waited on my side, my side's not that threatening. I'm also used to four man groups, <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute, that is kind of annoying for just a hunter to hit. My bad. That was me not thinking about the wave. 
Uh, I probably just want to Rifoe this. If I Rifoe the one over here, I can actually stunlock basically all of them. Kind of disgusting. Thinking of which. Nope. Goodbye. And lightning is so good there. Look at the power of Rufoe here. It's actually dumb. Look at that. Love Rufoe. I think learning to re-experiment with the spells at higher level definitely made me like the course a lot more. Because like before I really didn't like Rufoe that much. It felt really slow. Range was kind of bad. And like the difference of like a level 10 or so Foe versus like a level 30 Foe is crazy. Am I using something to boost casting speed? Uh, there are two things that boost cast speed. One is V801, which is a unit, and the other is literally going unarmed. Males can cast faster than females by just simply not wielding a weapon. So I can get really easy stun locks with this character. Also why Phonuman is usually preferred for episode 4, due to the combination of his bonuses and the fact that he can fast cast. Puts him way ahead of the females in their speed. I've got Technique on to raise Technique levels to 30, so even though I don't have level 30 techniques, I'm squeezing out like every possible point of damage conceivable on my spells, since I'm only going to be using spells. Yeah, if I end up using his ATP at all, I'm probably... something something terrible has happened. Also, congrats on level 91. I still will play at least a little easier. Yeah, no Del... no Rare Rappy slash Del Rappy. I gotta remember the very hard stun lock is different from the normal stun lock, because he's actually really slow and very hard. So I got used to the ultimate stun lock timing. So if you put a really big delay in very hard, you can stun lock him with just grants. Like you could kind of see it there, but e even there, I cast too quickly. So on, like on low levels, weirdly enough, you will actually get the stun lock without V801. Or you might equip something to slow your cast speed down on, on Phonyman. You won't do that on Ultimate, but very hard. Sometimes I wear something just to stop that exact scenario from happening. Okay, so we're going to obey the invisible line. You might see that little divot that, like separating both halves of the room. If I am physically not beyond that divot, they have to dive bomb me due to how their AI works. So. The, the zoos will get stuck at the edge of my Gafoe range and essentially die at some point. There's not much they can do. Like, he's gonna die bomb because I'm beyond the point, and we're almost done with the run. Simple. You'll observe the behavior. I'll try to tilt the camera so you can see the next one die bomb me. See? That's AI manipulation in the run. I don't know like a ton of runs where I feel super super comfortable doing it, but this this is one of the runs where I actively use AI manipulation. Both in this room and the prior room. So for example, if you hit them with the Resond, it forces them to do something else briefly if they're in the sky. So if you're wondering when I was in the previous room, why I use Resond, even though they're not weak to Resond, it's specifically to reset their AI. So they're more likely to do like a tight turning circle. And when they do that tight turning circle, they actually both move close enough to put themselves in Rebarda range. There's your little fun fact of the day, if you didn't know why I did those. Because otherwise Rebarda doesn't hit the full room. I like that that I like that the episode 4 quests that are actually well done are kind of like little mini puzzles like that. Like once you know how it's done, like the quality of life of the run goes up exponentially. And I was kind of hoping to see that in a lot of the anniversary quests, and I'm going to be honest with you, only about half of them kind of passed that test, sadly. I don't feel like there's ever a moment where it's like, oh, wow, you did this and then this, and you set up the AI. I'm like, no. <laughs> right, Chad? Just, just no, there's nothing really like that. Just kind of high density. 
you know, there's nothing wrong with high density quests, but sometimes if you're gonna go for a little less enemies per run, or per room, I mean, kind of important to think about that stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to Green ID. So if anybody wants to hop in with Ultimate, let me know in the chat. Oh, I got what I wanted out of this. Oh, by the way, how many tickets do I have? Okay, we gotta get rid of that at some point. 184 is quite a bit. So that's the quest you would do while helping a group casually play. Yeah, 87 is fine. I don't have any issues. To swap out. Remote battery just leveling. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'll be the damage carry for the most part. So I don't care about leveling other people. Just I'm not bringing in like a force. I, I prefer not to play my green force. Well, it's even beat. Actually, I don't know if I ever gave him a pew pew mag. I guess I can lend him one. It's so rare I pew pew with him. But technically, he's decent at it. I can option select into a big, big weapon. That is a wall of items he's wielding. <laughs> right, chat. I'm like, I looked at that. I was like, oh my, it's uh quite a lot. Ooh, 15 dark on charge arm. That's kind of nice. This character, this character is ready to carry. Okay, so let's do episode four. Oh, I meant to ask Minus X, has your partner joined in the chat before? I, I had a feeling one of the people was, but I didn't want to make an assumption. Oh, it is transcode, okay. So don't worry, I'll, I'll deal with the boss. We're just gonna do boss runs. Wow, 176. I'm gonna say minus X, you've been climbing a bit. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I rewind the tapes a couple weeks ago, I think you were in the 140s at one point. Yeah, Ron Marl is definitely more than suited for this. We don't really need force level buffs. Well, fortunately for you, this quest is about to give you 460,000 experience every time we clear it. Welcome fire slash transgo. So this quest should be silly bonkers. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta get my uh, pew pew mag before I go too much further. I mean, technically I could ATP the whole thing, to be real with you. It's not impossible. Oh, yeah, Mer... <laughs> Murphy and I were having a conversation in Discord. I forgot that I did the 16 mind on Nidra. I thought for some reason I had a Sato on him. Oh, my bad. For uh, Discord there. I was like, I know I had to do something to get his stats to work properly on a Nidra. Uh, um. <laughs> Speaking of all my partially completed mags. Like a whole bunch of them in there. There's another bank of them somewhere. about that. I just gotta pull out a pew pew mag wherever it is. Uh, I'll take both for now. Not sure which one I need more. Oh, he's already maxed out. That's fine. Okay. Let's proceed. Also, I think the music fell asleep, so I'll have to go wake it up. Come here, Atrian. It pausing mid video was so awkward. So, yeah, so my advice would be when we get to the boss, avoid the boss. <laughs> the, uh, two players that are a sub 890 HP will just die. Anyway, I'm gonna act as like the pseudo force here. 
think getting more levels wouldn't hurt. I'd like to free up a slot of his. I think he's like literally one level away from freeing up a slot, if I remember correctly. This damage is actually not bad. So what I'm going to warn you about is I'm going to need some... Actually, I might not need assistance on Ramar. My fireball sucks. I think I got this. <laughs> I was like, because I might need help with Gafoe, as I was about to say, and I'm like, wait a minute. I'm the one with the trash fireball. So after this wave, just be warned it will be dwarf on, so anybody that's below 700 health has a very high chance of just being roadkill. I'd recommend you stand closer to the green door than the red door if you want to survive that. I'll try to set up a fireball after this wave to stop it somewhat near me. There we go. Unfortunately, I picked up some items there. Yeah, if you have things like Spread Needle or Arrest uh, through other means, definitely that would be your priority. Hopefully we'll end up getting some uh, Kunai. Those are actually super useful versus Dwarf on. So even if you don't have a V5 unit, uh, when you do the third hit of Special, it triple hits. So the odds of you landing it are very high. So you're basically rolling essentially almost a 50-50, but you're rolling three 50-50s. So most of the time you're going to paralyze in that combo, and then you get one additional chance. So technically in a normal special special combo, you are very likely to get the paralysis. And obviously if you have a V5 unit, then you can use those three hits to instead hit multiple door pawns. So it is a really nice pickup, but sadly not all IDs get it. Let's level up. It'll be two waves of satellite lizards near the bridge where you started will be two zoos so just be aware of that one of you will have to turn around and deal with them at least i could stun lock the lizards so i wouldn't worry about them too much there you go so after that there's going to be a triple astark in the middle we can retreat towards the bridge for safety reason as the dwarfons will spawn approximately where i'm standing I'm gonna go ahead and move to the other side. I'll try to slow them down a little bit. In fact, what I'm gonna do is probably switch to demons. I'm gonna put out a little safety fireball. Yeah, look how busted that slicer is, by the way, chat. If you were wondering whether or not to get a slicer fanatic, if you too would like to delete Dwarf on Health, uh, yep, and you are dead, good sir. Oh, Ramar, you're so silly. Like, just, just FYI, like, the slicer's not even, I mean, I have a hit slicer, apparently, but you really don't need it on Ramar. It's more of a joke when you put a percentage on it. It's like, it's just down to whether or not demons triggers. So I should be able to very easily deal with Gerdabulu and stuff like that. So I'll try to warn you where like the threat waves are for the team, since I know some people are probably not as familiar with the run, just because they run other things. Look at that paralysis. Mm. Thank you, Spread Needle. Uh-oh, the pew-pew returns. That Starks here are kind of annoying. Unfortunately, we're going to come into kind of an annoying room. I guess we'll shut down the zoo on the right. When you see double Astarks again, you know we're coming up to the Babuda wave, which is like the Force's nightmare. When you see this, just like Protector Force. <laughs> That's my only comment. If a Force is there, they're going to need all the help they can get. Essentially, there'll be an Astark on the left, Astark on the right. And if we stay on like as a group of two, more or less, like two on each side, we should be able to stop the Babuda stunlocks. They have very annoying fireball attacks. 
just be warned. It's gonna help with this one, I think. And then I can assist on that one briefly. Yeah, I think it's very important I back up, so I stunlock here. That also works. Good freeze trap. There's gonna be an Astark near me, which is fine. Oh, look at that chat. He doesn't like being demons. On the opposite side is gonna be a zoo. And then after this wave will be Dorfon, so just be careful. Whatever the last enemy is, uh, we're gonna have to be roughly in the middle. So we're gonna clear out the satellite lizards first. And then we're gonna camp it. I'm gonna try to hit him with the fireball. I'm gonna I'm gonna come in the middle and start spamming. Chat kills the zoo, that'd be helpful. One more hit for the team. Oh, that wasn't fast enough. Anyway, there you go. Demon says no. Forget, does he have a V5 on? No, he doesn't. Damn. I'll go pick one up later. A little healing to make up for earlier. For the most part, we're just going to be pew pew lasering. And then when I need to, I can just slice her an annoying target out. So it's like I'm a little weaker than Romarl there, but the alternative is just Slicer Fanatic, which saves a bazillion seconds. Nice level ups for the team so far. Markar already at a 33, fire at 89, slingshot at 177. Only three levels for remembering now. This quest XP is very silly. Okay, so there's gonna be a zoo behind us. Oh, team is on it. Essentially, I'm gonna slowly look towards the right, since that's usually where I need to be. Eventually, there's gonna be a, a zoo in the corner, so what I usually do when I'm running this is I run a little bit over here, because it sets up for, like, the, the laser angles, but more importantly, approximately where I'm standing will be another zoo anyway. So I know at some point someone will have to take care of the zoo that spawns near me. And then on the right side should be Astark, right? Astark's a Buddha? Yeah. But there's one more wave, and I think the zoo appears. Once we get through that, then it's fine. So I just recommend as you play through, just kind of learn where the zoos are. If you're playing like a ranger or a hunter, because those will be your focus. If you're playing pew pew laser, you're just more looking to see like what targets you can't pew pew laser. Speaking of which, the zoo is descended. Unfortunately for him, I'm already in a good position to deal with him. But after this, there'll be a lot of Astarks in the middle, and we're all going to do a little group hug in order to dodge him. I have Excalibur, I can just do this. Bonk. Oh, I'm sorry, one more wave. I lied. Sacred Duster. Eh, I didn't want that. That wave, I think I can charge arm on Ramar. That might be worth it over Pew Pew. Okay, so now let's all come over here. So I'm gonna do my best to try to stun without B501. And lean on the team a little bit for damage here. I set up a fireball. I paralyze a couple targets. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it next time. I just forgot. Sorry about that. humans and their chance of paralysis are so low. The worst part is it is like a 30% without it. It's not the worst chance. It is annoying when it doesn't trigger. Oh well. So sorry about that. We just don't have enough damage to deal with it slash paralysis. I can fix one of those things next time. Oh, I actually died there. My bad. Yeah, that's going to be the hardest part of the run. Once we get past this, it should be fine. 
Yeah, typically what will happen is the cast will end up uh, using paralysis because humans don't get that 30% chance. Which does matter because it turns what would be about a 30% into a 60%. And then if they have V501, then it turns into basically a 90%. Yeah. Kind of unfortunate. Uh, I was gonna say I think that's with V five hundred one because I was like I was about I was about to ask Murphy I'm like that seems way too high for a spread needle without V five hundred one. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll say that checks out. But welcome, Murphy. Fortunately, I don't really need it for the rest of the run. That was kind of like the room I would use it on. Yeah, it's kind of insane how much uh, the 30% the, the on cast is just so important there. So eventually what I would recommend is if you want to run as a cast, absolutely kunai. I mean, you can see with V501, you have a 93% chance and you have three shots at it. You're probably going to paralyze every time. And even if you don't have that extra 30%, it's still basically a coin flip times three. Uh... Uh, you don't have to. You you don't need paralysis if you have pew pew laser. To be honest, what are what are they gonna do? They're not getting out of the pew pew laser. I feel like that makes more sense when you're killing them with ATP. But if you're pew pew lasering, you you already don't respect Rotabulu. I guess if you have like a force that's using demons, it matters. But when you have a Ramar with demons, it doesn't matter. I I don't need the accuracy boost. Alright, so after this is going to be double zoo into the Marissas. So just be warned, we're going to be surrounded. But normally, if we had a force here, they would be spamming their brains out for fireball. But unfortunately for our enemies, I'm probably going to slicer them. The two targets already done. You can see that I can basically kill them nearly instantly. Humans is kind of busted. True story. I mean, look at- look at- I have a 98% chance to land a heavy attack. Like, what is that? Like, Ramar, please. Briefly go back to Pew Pew. Honestly, I don't think you need paralysis at all. Unless you're playing only humans, then you need it. I feel like if you need paralysis in this run, you're doing it wrong. It, it's only really useful if you have like lower level players. That that is my tried and true statement. Like it would help us because we don't have the burst. But like if we're playing with anybody, then you're like 160. Yeah, just ATP. The time it takes to paralyze, you can just kill them most of the time. Just assuming it would always be beat time for what? For how to deal with the runs. I forgot the range is a little shorter than I think it is. My bad. I mean, I wouldn't play humans normally into Episode 4. I actually don't like playing human in Episode 4 at all. I really like the ability to trap. So I lose out a little by doing this. But I think in the future I might have a green ID hue cast or something. Mostly think of the spawn with the two zoos and the spawn with the two Goron detonators. I don't know what you mean by that. For paralysis? Why would I be paralyzing a zoo wave? I'm not following. Uh, you really don't need paralysis. If you want to see why you don't need paralysis, I will literally pull out a slicer of fanatic and show you as Ramar. <laughs> if you are doubting how much I don't need paralysis, that thing is literally dead in two swings, and I need someone to hit once. That's it. 
it's not needed. I mostly need freeze traps. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need I'm gonna have to probably convey to the team. I really need certain waves frozen. So I'll try to be more vocal about it. I think freeze traps are 100% uh, required to not waste like a million seconds. But I don't think paralysis is that helpful. I think people overrate it because they don't have like a coordinated team. You don't really need paralysis ever in this run. Paralysis actually makes more of the run annoying. Because if people try to do that on Goron De Gorons and don't understand how to trigger the trap without shooting them, it just ends up making them paralyzed and untargetable. That's why I also don't recommend paralysis here. It's okay if it's on a melee weapon, but it's very rare somebody will bring it in. Yeah, agree with uh, Imperimeter 100%. Like, if you, like, that thing, it, you will literally blink and that Gertibulu is dead. Like, Zalor, Demons, and that's it. We don't, I don't even need a Demon back bunk. Like, watch this. Am I really getting hit by the zoo? Can you please stop letting me get hit by the zoo? See, like, that would not help me. I just need this. There we go. Gertibulu's almost dead. Goodbye, Gertibulu. So I more just need protection, because I can't tank hits when I'm doing Demons. That's true of any run. Yeah, Z yeah, Zoo was trolling me. Yeah, like, I don't even have, like, the best demons on him. Like, I could do Demon Needle, or I could do, like, Demon Max. And those are even faster than Slicer. The Slicer's still pretty good. Okay, so up next, we're going to be fighting uh, Satellite Wizards into three Goron Detonators. The one I'm going to request of the team is... Uh, the pew pew lasers will handle a lot of the middle of the room. I'm going to need the cast to go to the other side of the room and prepare along the far wall. Picture three in a line with a big gap in between. So if either of you stand slightly off center, you should be able to get a freeze trap on them and that will save time. I would say maybe in the scenarios like the Goron detonators in this room, sometimes it makes sense to have paralysis because it could be hard to set up for this in like single player. Like there... We're, we're talking about like super niche scenarios at this point. I still think freeze trap will help more. But if you truly have no freeze traps, then I would say yes, it makes more sense. Like those are the rooms I, th I think about using paralysis on because if the team is not in a good position, it can be very difficult to recover from. There we go. Yeah, like you don't need to paralysis. Like I could have paralyzed the Goron detonator there or I could just demons. You see what I mean? Like, Freeze Trap will cover, like, everything that you need it to do. I think people just need to realize, like, just how good Freeze Trap is. If you have Freeze Trap, you don't need to freeze in Paralysis. It makes sense if you have, like, mixed damage in the party, or, like, people are very new to the run. I would totally agree with that. But in these kinds of scenarios, I'd still rather have Freeze Trap. Infuse is also not terrible if we're able to bait them out. Oh, I could have killed there if I was paying more attention. Get rid of you. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh. Ah. I got my blast for later. Getting slapped over and over is kind of silly. You go solo? Why would you solo as cast in episode 4? I, I don't recommend playing solo cast in episode 4 at all. There's, there's way too many things. I think the level of skill needed to do it is way too high for the casual player. Like, you could do it, but it's like, this requires, like, absolute perfection of positioning and being able to Dark Flow, etc. And that is very hard to do. I would say, like, Surface is easier. I don't mind Surface, but I don't know. I don't think I would do Underground Solo. They're very tanky. Even Hugh Cast doesn't instant delete unless you're truly, truly endgame gear. So I, I would say strictly avoid unless you're like legit 200 with nothing but ridiculous items. Alright, so behind near the red door there's going to be another triple Goron detonator. But just as long as somebody freeze traps that we should be good. Oh, rip Marco.
Yeah, like, they just don't have the ability to trap it up. Like, they could do surface okay. Like, I don't think the Buddhas can really survive a lot of Disco Grave Man spam, for example. But there's just a lot more annoying things on surface. Like, they don't... Wait. Oh, my Ryuker was there. My bad. I was like, wait a minute. Why was that... I thought... Okay. Ryuker is in, like, in a magical position on some of my characters. <laughs> it's like, I confused myself on that one. I was looking for one of my debuffs. I need to put some weapons away for later, so I menu a bit less. Oh, I just needed one hit on the Grand Detonator, that's so sad. Yeah, like this wave... Hmm... Sorry, it's 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 definitely really hard to convey where to freeze trap. For future reference, when we're done with the double Goron detonator in the center, if you could freeze those four Marissas, that'd be great. There's gonna be a wave where it's all Gorons along the side, I believe that is coming up in a little bit. Right now I would just do confuse traps. Or freeze is okay, I guess. To work with it. I'm gonna use my slicer to kind of finish them off a little faster. Yeah, this is the wave I'm thinking about. There's gonna be a zoo in the corner. I'll handle the zoo. Damn, I dropped my combo. That's okay. This should still work. Yeah, I, I just don't recommend episode four solo. Aster are really great in multiplayer though. Don't 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 get it twisted with that. I think they're. I really really prefer cast for multiplayer over force. Like all they need is like a little bit of a buff. And that's it. Once they have shift to 30, it's just over. If they manage to get, like, above that, then it's super over. Just think of it this way. If you're playing Q-Cast or Raw Cast, you could completely freeze trap this entire run and not run out of freeze traps just by yourself. So imagine with, like, two or three experienced other cast users how over it is. Nice. So he's almost dead. GG. Alright, so what I would recommend for this boss, when we move towards the crystal in the center, put a little space between players and be ready to move away from everybody. We're just looking to get close enough here in order to uh, do some damage to the boss. So essentially, once the boss is activated, everybody split, look for a spinner that has a color. So it'll be yellow for short, red is best. So try to look for a darker color, but if you see one, just pop it, and we'll go from there. I'm gonna bring in probably just the striker legit, maybe. I'll get rid of my mag blast. It's fine. I'd rather have the invincibility. Yeah, like, they're fine in, like, yeah, teams really close together. I recommend spreading out a little bit. So get ready to move left and right of your current position. If you walk forward, you're probably going to walk into somebody else's spinners. So just be careful. They're going to spawn in a roughly triangular formation around you. I will do my best to hit it. We'll see where it goes from there. Okay, I see an orange one. That's a good sign. Uh, that's why I unequipped it. Now let's get a Cannon Rouge out. I need you to come over here. We're good now. Alright, so the only people that can survive the boss right now are me and Slingshot. I recommend for Marco and Fire, if you picture this room as a giant clock, the boss is going to spawn in the 5 o'clock position. You need to stay around there, but be wary, the boss can send spinners after you. So if you want to just move in circles and just kind of react and run away from spinners, I would kind of just recommend that for a bit. Yeah, if you look at the map, go about where 5 o'clock is. That should be where the boss is. And 5 o'clock more towards the edge of the arena versus, like, the center of the arena. So I'm going to go along to the side here. I could pew pew laser technically, but I think my bazooka actually is competitive. It has a little bit of a uh, percentage. That was rude. 
Oh, it's... I thought it was AB. So I guess it is dark. Never mind. Disregard, then. Wait for the glitch. Bomber doesn't get an auto auto hit on that. That's sad. Evasion is pretty good then. Almost got the glitch. Grip slingshot. Alright, uh, that makes a big difference. I didn't realize he would miss that. So I guess his earlier form just has much lower evasion. That's kind of disappointing. Is it someone's first time fighting the shrimp? Uh, I'm just describing the balls. Maybe for them it might be. Ooh, it got popped unevenly. That is really unfortunate. Yeah, so... Okay, that's fine. Since... I'll, I'll switch back to this. I might need this. So that's unfortunate. I didn't realize I didn't have a 100% hit chance. I need a better cannon merge then. Because otherwise that leads to some e unevenness with the balls. But because we didn't evenly kill it, uh, we're about to take big damage here. Right, I'll go clean it up. Everybody can stay back in the 5 o'clock position. You should be fine. Go deal with it. You really lasering me from that far? That is so rude. Also, invisible wall. What the heck was that? <laughs> How is that an invisible PSO? PSO. Hold on, PSO. We need to have a talk. How is this an invisible wall? PSO, please. P PSO actually please. <laughs> I I almost I very rarely go in the center room. What is that invisible wall? We need to have some talk, Sega. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. Actually nonsense. Oh, wiggle hair. Nice. Fire got the wiggle hair. It means they got hit during the cutscene. Wiggle wiggle. They're the true winners of the run. Is that an invisible wall? Look at that. Is this what is this wall there's there's no way is it like that the whole oh, <laughs> that's where the wall is oh come on Affinia please please fix this please do something about this room what is what is this look at that mind blowing <laughs> I mean like the mini map is close but the visuals are not there <laughs> just I don't even know on that one that was, like, mind-blowing, honestly. Okay, so we'll do a couple of these. I mean, you all witnessed it, chat. That was... That invisible wall hit me hard. <laughs> it was, like, three, four steps from the wall, physically. There's like one spot on the wall that was semi-reasonable. Everything else, like actually, let's put a put a big old square around it and called it a day. Yeah, I think so far Cannon Rouge is pretty consistent. It's just that if... Unfortunately, because accuracy is calculated differently for each of them, when one of them misses because I don't have 100% hit chance, it caused it to become a little lopsided on one of the hits. So yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Her Cannon Rouge is pretty bad <laughs> for the boss, but I'm just... I was a little disappointed there. Marco says that someone wants to join in and realize it's almost 2 a.m. Thank you for joining in, Marco. Hopefully you get some rest. Yeah, we have a free slot for some episode 4. Oh, my menu is weird today. I'm gonna blame being tired.
Okay. So we should be able to do it again. And again, the run just gets easier the more we level. Oh, okay. Fire is leaving for now. Sure thing. So we have two free slots. So who would like to do some episode four? Galatine, Heaven Striker, Off Chance Cannon Rouge. Shenanigans, technically V101. You do your homework in PoE. Wasn't sure if Remote wanted to hop in, for example. And let me put away the other mag, because I don't need it. So it'd be nice to finally level this character again and maybe free up one of his slots. Because if you look, it's like he's getting closer. Like, I don't need it for accuracy anymore, at least. If we do this... I think what I'll do is, because he's already at max accuracy, I can afford to... put this one away. Wait, hold on. I could wear this one right. That shouldn't matter. I'll put that one away, since I was thinking my mind score was much lower than it was, and I was like, oh wait, that's right. Permanently put away of Heavenly Arms on him at least due to the prior levels. I guess it's safe for me to be 502 now. Also, I don't know what happened to my V units. I really need to put them back in here. Uh, sure, if you want to bring in a Forest Nappa, you can join in. So you have enough room for Remote and Nappa for sure. Force would speed it up quite a bit. out animation. Boom. So yeah, V502 should at least pump my paralysis rate a little better. It's still not going to be great. It is what it is. I'm just waiting on minus X. There we go. Ooh, I like that emote. That's nice. Huh. That one's also nice. I, I have too many characters to do emotes. <laughs> Just like, I, it would take so long. I'd be like, oh no. I don't have that desire to do that per character. Maybe one character, I would consider it. But, uh, 20 something, no thanks. Maybe next time. At least my paralysis chance is doubled, more or less. Well, 50% more, but whatever. Be freed from your duties, yeah. There we go, much smoother. Exactly, full-time QQ DD. I'll sometimes slice or try to uh, hit with V5. Try to help the team, although honestly, with the damage we're doing now, it might not be needed. With, with triple QQ, might be fine. Yeah, no longer getting like knocked down or heavily damaged will speed up the run. These enemies are not going to do anything essentially. I really got lasered, that's so sad. Felt a little hard targeted there, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, back to Pew Pew. Since we're triple pew pew, we might just be able to get away with no debuffs even. You get to live the fourth stream. You can just tech all you want. <laughs> and I guess I'll use some single shots on Astark, I guess. Four enemies. And after this wave will be Astarks, and then we'll gather closer to the bridge. They come from about where Dapper is standing currently. I'm gonna move to the opposite side. And I'm gonna do a little mini Gafoe. 
Ooh, team is kind of close. They're probably going to get hit by that. Yeah. That I can't help them on. Bonk. Nice drive by Grants. The cinematic clash between Dorfond and Grants. Like, oh, I got the Phonuman kaboom. Game over. Okay, so for the most part, at least the force will be free to Gaboe spam. That'll be nice. It is a relief. <laughs> like, ooh, so fast. Sadly, though. Way faster to slicer this. There we go. Uh oh, force down. So we know it's gonna be double Astark into the the force killer, aka the Babuda wave. Four forces. Let's get stun lock for it for all eternity. The endless fireball combo. I'll use the Zalor briefly there for that S-Star. I stand here, I should be able to get most of them. Yeah, there we go. Better positioning that way. And we know after this is going to be the double dwarf on wave, so we need to kind of group hug in the middle. So we have some, we have some time to get there. It, I'm sorry, there'll be S-Star wave first into the zoo wave. When you see the zoo, that's the signal that we, we're going to have to start group hugging. The so fireballs will go out. We'll try not to spam Fireball too much, since we want them to get a little closer. But I'll try to help QP these lizards out. But as soon as the zoo is dead, we're going to need a Fireball. In fact, I'm going to probably Fireball here. It's my Fireball's booty. It's not going anywhere. And GG. There we go. Nice and simple. Yeah, we were talking earlier where like whether or not to bring paralysis. It really just depends on your team comp, but generally the answer is no. Unless there's a damage issue with the team, then I would say yes, because things like the V5 units will make up for the fact that you might not instantly kill them. Where like if you have team that isn't like max accuracy, for example, it could help to it could help to boost accuracy for the follow-up shots. But honestly, for the most part, as long as we have really strong demons, it kind of overrides the need for paralysis in most areas. Slicer is decent, but I think Demon Mech Gun just really silly. Thank you for the rebuff. I'd like to stand in this corner. Slightly. And I'll be in a good position for the zoos because I'm behind the satellite lizards. This all works out. I can kind of stun lock the zoo. And after this, we know we're coming into the Astark wave, so we'll have the little group hug in a moment. Goodbye, lizard. I'm gonna go over here preemptively, clean out this side so that we could prepare for the group hug. I'm gonna move this way, target over here. Yeah, I'm in a good group hug position. If we get real close, we can have a delayed fireball. Oop, team's really deep. Team's too deep. Team's too deep. Ah, oh, that's okay. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Oh, I send three out of four. I think that's the best I could do. Yeah, if we have the team split, the Dorfons will do weird things. I prefer definitely if the team groups for that one. Take this. Mm -mm. I split my teams all the time, says Dango. The Humar stands alone. Welcome, Dango. So we know after the Zoo Wave, the Phonuman will be able to focus on Gafoe. 
So we at least will have an advantage on this run compared to the other one, since the Gafoe stacking will uh, delete the Marissas, which is usually the weakness of the Pew Pew comp, where they just can't really do anything. So it'll be just Faux Newman spamming for like the next three waves. Like even though they're zoos, the stacking of the Kafoe is more important, so we'll just kind of take care of things. To so see, like, even though, like, there's enemies that you could ice, it doesn't matter, because Kafoe stacking is going to delete this room. But honestly, he's going to be Kafoe stacking, or they, excuse me, will be Kafoe stacking for quite some time. And once this Astark is dealt with, it is Kafoe time, yet again. There we go. So we had some stacks there, so it's not too bad. I think I'm going to switch into Charge Arm, try to do some damage. Really? You froze, me, you froze me on the charge shot of the charge shot? That sucks. See, this is why I need to level again and just take your freeze to stop that from happening. So sad. Well, anyway, uh, basically once we wrap up with this side, just remember the Gerdabulu is near the red door. I'm probably going to switch preemptively to Slicer. Yeah, there's not much I can really do in this wave. I guess I could PP if I really wanted to. I'd rather have my slicer out for later. Come on. And dead. Hi. Uh, right resolved. Let's see if the faux Newman knows how to manip the zoos in the next room. It is my favorite. I find my strategy is we go in a straight line, we do a little wiggle to the left, and then go straight. All three of them will always dive bomb. So sick. Will it be able to stun lock with Gorum Det- or er, They'll be able to stunlock the zoos while we potentially focus on the Goron detonators. That'd be kind of nice. I'm gonna choose not to enter the room. I could technically stunlock with this character. I would just not prefer it. Ooh. Oh, he used there. Yeah, I would recommend Rebarda. Alright, so let's go for a Slicer Fanatic on the closest of, of the Goron detonators. Okay, that one's dead. That one's also dead. That was fast. So even without freeze traps, if we got a good use as a slicer here, we could clean this up real quick. Uh, sadly, Force was dead for the Mercy Wave. That's fine. That's why we bring in a good old friend, Mr. Slicer. Speed it up for the other people. Okay. We're almost back in equilibrium. Sadly, we don't have any traps for hard lockdown. I guess if somebody else has green ID, I could play the cast. I don't mind locking down the whole room. As I said before, my my main concern is just like DPS, and I get DPS with the cast. In fact, I could bring the cast to delete the uh, the boss if I need to. I just need to check people's IDs. Uh, we do have a green ID. Yep, slingshot will probably make the game next time. I'll bring in a character better suited for this, since we have so many human characters. It makes sense to bring in a cast. That way we can hard shut down some of the more annoying waves. Like, we do lose access to Slicer Fanatic, but we have one other person with strong demons. I'm not that worried. I mean, look how fast that Gerdabulu died. In in saying that we had strong demons, that was the exact time it took to kill Gerdabulu from full to, uh... Basically just a pile of blood on the floor. Poor Gerdabulu. Go to the next... Actually, I want that power material, sorry. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Alright, so we know there's going to be Triple Goron Detonator against the far wall. So what I'm going to try to do is actually use Frozen Shooter to, uh, to lock them down because we don't have a trap user. I'm going to try to aim at the middle one first, then I'm going to go for the close one. And that's about as good as I could do for the team. Really? Did I just whip tri double demons there? That is actually really unlucky. Max unlucky chat. I had 108% chance on my second hit of landing it. It's just purely demon not proccing there. Actually unlucky. So sad. Speaking of so sad, it sure would be a shame if somebody uh, used Slicer on that whole group. Oh, what a shame. Hi, right, Chad. What a shame. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely just going to use Slicer, and I will assume Gafoe will clean up every one of my kills. I'm not going to worry about this at all. 
the one near me lived. Awkward. This guy should just be ultra dead. And ultra dead. Let's go ahead and lock down the targets for the team. We don't have a trap user. Like that. Um, I could do a makeshift version of what the cast normally do. I think I can do this. That'll give the team time to reposition. I actually want to stall there, so that way the, the triple Gordon detonators here. I'm gonna need to help with it. Oops, just the line. Killed him. Killed him. Killed him. Now we're back to normal. But fortunately, the Faux Newman just... They're gonna have a grand old time just spamming Gafoe. We as rangers and hunters need to take care of everything that is not gafoe -able. Ooh, Rare Rappy. Too bad it's not a uh, very hard mode. It's been a real nice uh, mission cloak attempt. It's like, where is the less Marissa? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this wave is always kind of annoying. Windows, I really don't need your pop-ups while I'm playing PSO and making me lose controller uh, privileges. This over here is not a bad spot to stand. I can hit everybody and they take a while to turn around. And then I know it'll be Goron Detonator in the middle, so we'll protect our friend here with a nice little frozen shooter. Done. It's gonna brute force it. Then we're just gonna prepare for the final enemy. And gone. <laughs> just poor Garden Bulu just actually gets deleted. Slice are too good. Alright. So I'm gonna leave the pew pew on. It was like roughly equivalent. Unfortunately, with like their high defense, the spinners, we're taking 776 a shot, which is really good. But I think it's probably still safer to pew pew laser. On in the event that I get blocked. It would make more sense for me to keep laser if they're within like 100 damage per second of each other. So I'm going to lose my ability to crit, but it should be fine. As a reminder, if you have less than 898 health, I think you die to laser. Fortunately, that is not a consideration here. But for the people that are desync from the cutscene, uh, just pick a person to follow and heal spam them. I think I got this. Yeah, so there's always one that spawns over here. I got this. Thank you. Uh, where did I... Oh, there we go. I was like, where did I hit the boss? Uh, actually, they got it, so I'm not gonna bother. Okay, so the way I kind of view it is... Lasers are, like, the ultra easy mode of hitting this boss. Lasers can hit further than Rebarda. Um... Rest of spam is welcome. We just need one person to stay behind. Otherwise, three people can bully the uh, the boss. Uh, all four are going this way. I'll stay behind then. I'll watch the team a little bit though. My recommendation is just make sure that when it's when the boss is reeling back, don't get greedy with it. Let the boss go back forward and then hit it, and you should be good. Oops. Yeah, just make sure you always heal. Laser does quite a lot of damage. Uh oh, team already hit it unevenly. Yeah, don't get greedy. Just take your time with it. That's the big mistake we see. I was gonna say, if the force isn't gonna go in the room, you should just join me for damage. Ooh, team is really hitting it unevenly. So what I would recommend is if you see that team, that tells me you're standing too far to one side. Yeah, you're standing way too far to one side if that's happening. So 
don't if you see that please readjust because that being off by 2k is not good so we're gonna you're gonna have to try again so you're, you're you're getting a finger wag from me it should never be off by that much damage because that means you shot it and then 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 you shot it in order to get like that that's four additional shots where no correction was made it's kind of high Like, it's okay, it happens every now and then, but it shouldn't be, like, a 2k difference with lasers. Ooh, ooh, can I get the, can I get the glitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. Don't mind me just healing. I don't think I have anything that jiggles on the character. Damn. Is hair actually static? No hair physics? can heal during the cutscene, though. Oh, there we go. Mila's got the, the wiggle hair. Yeah, that quest is worth a lot of experience. Uh, since we have a green ID character, I'm going to play cast into it. So yeah, what I would recommend is the force. Just, you don't even have to rebarda it, but if you spam heal on them, that gives the laser users more time to attack. The less time they spend trying to rest at themselves, the better. Or you can stay in the main room if they have it by themselves and assist with the final damage. But you shouldn't be in between both rooms. I would say that would be a mistake. But let's see. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna bring in serious damage. I'm gonna I'm gonna forego my pew pew lasering. I'm gonna put this away. Stuck on spinners on a wall. Yeah, the spinners could be kind of annoying. I find that if you do get stuck against spinners while you're heading in there, just walk backwards. More often than not, that'll be the way to get out of it. Get rid of these. Okay, so I'm going to bring in some serious damage. Yeah, because the problem is, like, if you're not able to heal them, it slows it down. Or if you're not then with the person in the other room, it doesn't speed it up. Preferably, the force will always go in the other room as a heal spammer. But it's not technically mandatory. I was going to say, I've run, like, several hundred of these runs. So I I've been I played as all positions, all characters, all beats. I don't have the equipment to do some of the stuff I want to do, though, sadly. Okay, I'm bringing in a cast. So, the game should be, uh... Oh. I think Shot hasn't made the game. I think Mila is purple. I don't really want to do a purple one of that. We'll wait for, uh, Minus X to make the game. Uh, they still have a V502 from last time. That's fine. It saves me some swaps later. No worries, minus X. Once you make the game, we'll uh, start it. So V502 on cast, I should be consistently stunning the Dwarfons. So, be good to go. Yeah, plus and downside of this character, I do a lot of damage. Downside, it costs me money to uh, be competitive in this run. I also need a force, so fortunately we have a force. I'm sadly not quite at full damage with this setup. I'm really close, like 1324 is really close to Cav. No worries, Dapper. So basically what'll happen is that uh, now the glide find strategy makes a lot more sense because well, of somebody that's not PP lasering, so I'll definitely benefit very heavily with charge arms there. Uh, but for the most part, should be fine. I'll try to 
be a little more sparing with the freeze traps, knowing that I need, I think, 11 underground. And there's not too many things on the surface I really want to freeze trap anyway. So if, if necessary, I will just hold them until underground. The way I see it is I just don't really want to see Goron Detonator waves get out of control. Those are going to be... Uh, do Massive Attack, Episode E, under Massive Attack. Don't do the event quest. Yeah, so my goal is to be in a proper position. It's a little harder with just one cast, but it is possible, for example, in the double, uh, or the four Goron detonators with the double spawn for me to handle both as a single cast. But that kind of relies on me getting used to team DPS. Since if I do it too early, the traps will self-detonate, which is not what I want to have happen. But like, there are ways I can control it as one cast, it's just very difficult. I will probably ask for assistance on probably the triple detonator spawn. Where, like, I will agree it's probably doable, but it's very easy to miss time based off of party damage. I'd rather just rule out the, the difference there. Because technically all it takes is, like, one freeze trap and a frozen shooter on the other side to cover three. Uh, but it could be very annoying to do. We're just going to go ahead and clean up this quest real fast. So my job is basically to kill everything that is not fire weak. Then if I don't see anything that's useful there, I can just throw fire traps for free damage while I'm waiting. And or confuse traps to make them aim differently. I'm just gonna tell him to chill out. Yeah, the reason confuse traps are kinda interesting in like a lower laser setting is the fact that it'll make them turn on each other. So it could be useful to people that don't have a lot of strong melee options to have the enemy expose their back. It could be nice. Unfortunately, I don't have any crazy tricks with this character. It's just all about wall ATP. Just believing in the charge shot. You can see by the time the one laser came out, I already did 700 plus damage. So I could be more than competitive to their damage. In fact, I will very greatly eclipse it with Zalor. So they'll help clean up in stunlock. But things like this Astark here, it's just a combo kill to me. But this will speed up the run very significantly. That's why I actually do like pass a lot here, just because of the fact that like if it's not Pew Pew Laser O'Clock and you have like a force with like two or three casts, the run goes so fast. Charge arm kinda silly. Downside, expensive, over time. Here's a wave I will freeze trap. I'll team pull one of them away, that's unfortunate. Uh, I don't have Twin Blaze, so I need somebody to get Bowie, thank you. Review... Review... Pretty much the first time the demon hits, Vulcans will help clean it up. The cast also pairs extremely well with the demon user. I kind of view the rangers with the pew pew laser as like support. Like they're they're kind of like an alternative to the force. Especially Raw Moral, they can provide the shift to D-Band 20. So I'm I'm also happy doing like Raw Moral plus three cast. PTV pun or just pun says, hey my mag is developed enough to work on my humor, but nobody plays hard. Yeah, most people are not going to be playing that. Most people, especially at the event at this rate, have probably entered ultimate, to be honest with you. I'm going to clean that up real fast. So... Yeah, I would say this is... Not a great time to look, unless you have like a dedicated group, most people will have already left hard mode in the span of like three days. With 200 XP boost, it's very hard to have somebody that's exactly there. Got a Musashi, presumably. Musashi's pretty solid. We talk about that in our guide. 
find that to be a, a solid starting item. I don't know what a Murasame is. I don't think that's a weapon in PSO. If you mean the twin sword, it's a Musashi. It's a green thing from Dragon. Where are those? Yeah, no worries. Right, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of team hug here. I'm just gonna stick with my charged Vulcans. And hopefully Gafoe will stop the Dwarf Ones from going too far. There we go, that works. I'm gonna wait for the Dwarf One to move. Never mind, demons. That's pretty good. Part of the reason where like Hughcast gets like a huge power bump, because they have freeze traps, so they could just afford to do it more consistently. And they have the raw ATP to delete things. And that's true, people could in theory be farming deep parts. But I, I think that'll be like literally a one of run, especially with the drop rate boost. Because it's already pretty common. Right, let's protect people here. I could have in theory freeze trap there if I wanted to. But I just find like when you have so much damage, it's just better to hold the freeze traps for underground. Because enemies are way more annoying. I'll save at least 10 or 11, as I said before, for the underground. So, like, I'll do that to stop them from moving. Did you shotgun, please? <laughs> shotgun actually 90 degree turn to hit that. That was so sad. I got cheated there. That should have been an easy kill. Shotgun, please. Yeah, so recognize Astark is the threat, delete the threat, then they can delete everything else. Similarly, I'm better suited for fighting the zoo. Oh, I got a level up. I was expecting that a little later from now, but ultimate XP is silly. Well, now I really don't need to care about my traps. Uh, I'll do something like this. Okay, so we know we need to group up. Everybody come over here. Otherwise, I can't spread needle. What happens next? Team is too far up. Team, please come closer. Thank you, thank you. Because <clears throat> otherwise, the Dorfons aren't going to hit the line. Ooh, that Gafoe was too early. Okay, so what I would recommend if you don't have Twin Blaze, let them let them come in a little bit. Because lingering Gafoe will stop them at quite a distance. There we go. Full paralysis there sealed it up. Demons to the rest. Yeah, so it's very easy with Twin Blaze, but you, you gotta wait a little longer. Like, kind of picture that they take about a second and a half. So if you react to them spawning at that distance, you should stop them every time. Uh, or if you have somebody that's like a Ramar, that'll stop them without you needing to time it. Or Twin Blaze. Twin Blaze is cheap. Or if you have Mercurius Rod, both of those are good. Ooh, I, you know what? I'm sure people do S rank hunts on, oh, they're not spawning for me. That's unfortunate. On hard mode, I don't think I've seen people do it, but in theory, people can do it. I'm sort of near the force here. I can probably put up a good freeze trap near them so that that way they keep spamming. This should auto detonate. They don't have to worry about anything. Keep them safe. And that will allow the force to do whatever they want. Delete a zoo. Where 
Marissa, deleted Marissa. Okay. So this way, for example, when we come into the zoo room, if I wait a little bit, and if I can judge the damage correctly, I could put a freeze trap in the bottom left-hand corner of the room, then run to the upper right, and by the time I do it, I should be able to get them. So I'm going to stall really hard for the team, but I have to guess based off of how fast they're DPSing, whether or not I'm going to be able to do it. Oh. Uh, okay, you're going for the stun lock. Ooh, that's what I was worried about, because that is going to throw off the timing. I'm going to put a freeze trap down. You can focus the bottom left corner. I got the upper right. Somebody shot the upper right. Why did they shoot the upper right? I got trolled. That is so sad. Well, then I can't stun lock. If they, if they teleport because somebody fired a gun at them, I, I can't do anything about that. This is what we call unlucky. Sorry, Marissa Wave. Am I gonna hit by the laser? Seriously? Okay, does that put me out of position for this wave? But it put me in position for this at least. There we go. I sort of recovered that. That could have gone much worse, so I'll take that for sure. Okay, I need I need somebody to help me with the zoo. I if I keep getting hit, I can't trap shoot. Help me. <laughs> Of like a beg of you. I'm getting bullied by every zoo at every spawn. Need assistance. Because I'm standing in certain areas to try to deal with them. Like, I'll kill them afterwards. I just need like one shot on them and we're good. Uh, I could put a fire trap down. Keep things up a little. Kill you. Silver badge. Uh, I'll deal with one of the zoos. Zoo down. Again, like, I'll kill the fastest, definitely on the zoos, but, like, if I'm the only trapper, I need to be able to cleanly hit, uh, Barons. So, like, I could put a freeze trap down, but if I don't get, like, the instant trap shoot, I can't shoot it. Let's definitely hit these Rappies, please. There we go. Okay, so this... Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to run. He, ooh, team started the room without me. I don't think I could stop this wave. Damn. He didn't wait. Also, chat, did you see that? Did you see him... Did you see him dodge double Frozen Shooter? What the heck was that? I actually got cheated there. He took damage from my Frozen Shooter, but wasn't frozen. That was, uh... That was some nonsense right there. Teleport OP, apparently. He's like, yeah, I heard, I heard you're trying to do something there. Right, now we're mostly in the right position to deal with this. Let me back up and deal with the zoo. There we go. Easy kill. Okay, I'm gonna ask for the next room specifically. Team does not go in right away. I could set up a really nasty confuse trap. So once you see me hit the other side of the room, then you could go in. Because that also saves a, a decent amount of time. I'm gonna save five freeze traps for the remainder of the rooms. Should stun the, enough of the room to help the team. Grant's level 30 dropped. Oh. Okay. I mean, I guess. Do I have room for it? No. Uh, oh, geez. Where is it at even? I don't even know where it is. Genuinely. Uh, oh, there it is. Fine. Team could come in now. I just want to be in this position. The reason I want to do this is because if I do this, they just kind of don't hit the team for a little bit. And then what I can do is switch to Spread Needle. I could put a Freeze Trap down here land the freeze trap that I wanted to hit earlier. So if I stand in a good position like this, all three shots of the spread needle will hit, and that is like one of the few rooms I will consider using paralysis on. <laughs> I don't care about it on Gurdabulu. I care about it on the ground detonators. I'm going to stand roughly in the middle of the room here to protect the force. My job is just baby basically babysit. 
They're like, see, that wave would have been bad for them. And I'm like, nope, no longer a bad wave. So that way they don't even have to leave. <laughs> It'll be a trust exercise. How quickly can I set this up? Also, rip my free strap, apparently. There we go. Went off eventually, I guess. Whatever. Better late than never. We only have two freeze traps left, which is fine. It means for this wave, I'm just gonna spam a whole bunch of confuse. And they'll basically take care of each other. Here's another example where I could put one freeze trap down. But if they walk towards me, I get free freezes while still mocking the zoo. And then for the final Goron detonator wave, sucks to suck. He's already paralyzed, GG. I <laughs> just went behind the Yowie and shot it. That seemed fair. There we go. That was nice and fast. So plus side, this character can kill spinners real fast. Well, I guess that answers the question of where level 30 grands came from. So we're seeing that all... All of, what was it, two sessions ago? We saw like four. I'll have to think about who I would want to give that to. I'll probably teach it versus sell it. Alright, so I have Magblast, so I'll probably go for the Dolphin Strat. So I'm, I'm gonna declare Dolphin later. I need everybody to do either Twins or Angel. Get Million again. Okay. That's fine. Green ID is uh, Galatine. Okay with this. So we'll do one more episode for. Um. I might host it. Yeah, I think I might host it. We'll see. I'm gonna go for the burst here. Hopefully team can follow up on the kill. Actually, I'm gonna let it circle around a little more. It's too far from the team. Oh, it moved my target. That was so rude. That was so rude. It moved it away from me. Man. I shouldn't have waited that long. Yeah, my target actually just got moved out of range. That sucks. Whatever. Yeah, I got trolled super hard there. I'm gonna leave him the team damage. Switch into Cannon Rouge. Yeah, it, it, when it's a yellow one, it doesn't make sense to pop it at like the 9 o'clock position if nobody's in the 9 o'clock position, which is what happened earlier. But by the time it got back to uh, 6 o'clock, it moved it away. Solo cave. Why am I soloing? Come on, team. <laughs> like... I, I don't I don't one shot it that hard. I'm gonna use dolphin. It leaned back a little. Well, nobody else had meter. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, that's definitely not gonna one shot. Unfortunate. Ouch. Tornado said no. Also, I think for the future I need to I I should have asked I guess whether people had it. If people had the hundreds, that would have killed, but with only one, yeah, that's not happening. And please don't make me solo cave. Just, well, that, that's, that is not a thing, I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, my missiles, that sucks. Oh. Yeah, we, we don't need... Okay, we don't need all four people in the room. I just needed somebody in the room other than me. Future reference, that's fine. Team needs to uh, designate who is staying behind before we go here. It's not going to be me for the most part. I mean, I guess in theory I could, but I had Dolphin. I think I could get one more shot on it maybe here. Almost. No, not quite. So sad. Oh, I think somebody's already in the other room still, so let's just speed it up. Okay. Ooh, that spinner almost got me. He 
Did he just immediately go into an attack? That was interesting. Whatever. Like, on my screen, he just kind of went underground and then immediately lasered. I don't feel like there was even a shout on my screen. That was interesting. Rip boss, though. Alright, so yeah, without, uh... If people aren't using PP crates, I guess it makes sense. If it's only PP laser, you might not have it. Yeah, he's he's definitely a little cheater. Just he's skipping animations over here. He's like this stupid worm boss in episode two. That boss is so inconsistent. I would actually really want you know what if Affinia is gonna update anything, please fix the worm boss in episode two. That boss is like actual nonsense. Like, that boss legitimately is so bugged. <laughs> Just honestly. Makes zero sense. We could do one more, and then we'll probably switch it up, I guess. Just deciding what we should do after this. If anybody needs RT runs or TTF, let me know. at work, no worries. Or if he's game being tagged in. Oh no, female Newmans. The time of the phone neural is here. Yeah. Uh, so now I know. <laughs> now I know. Team team does uh, will not do enough damage with it. That's fine. Our atomizers would have been useful earlier, I think. But right now, I think I'm capped. So we'll give Murphy a moment or so to join. Let's uh, deposit these items. I think I'm about to cap yet again badges in the bank. I don't even feel like I've been playing like that much during the event, to be honest with you. I did cap badges. It's awkward. Uh, I have only power in the bank so I can hold more items. But on the off chance we get another Grants level 13. Oh, Savitri mag. I remember when I thought I would find use out of that mag. That's so sad. I legit just don't even use that mag anymore. I was gonna say, I mean, if you just wanna... Your shiny new... Re I mean, if you just wanna level your new rock ass, I don't really care, Murphy. It'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> It just you'll you'll be the designated person staying behind in the center room, that's all. Lunk. Oh yeah, up to you. Oh there you go, an Among Us thing. Damn, that's so sad I kept on badges. I don't even have anything I want to use bronze badges on. There's only so many ad slots I really want in a bank at any given time. Silver is not too far off. I think I can fit like another 10 or a cap. So overall, we'll be able to afford a photon sphere from the event. Uh, I don't think I'll have enough to get a virus armor on top of that. that that's a little greedy. I could probably buy enough EP materials to cap somebody with silvers. Although I forget how much they are. If they're more than five, then probably not. Because you need like, what, a hundred? 
25 almost characters to cap. I have too many silvers. Sackable ad slots win. True story, Nappa. True story. Yeah, somebody had asked a couple streams ago, like, what what requests do you have for changes to the server? But uh, since then, I just bring it up every now and then. I'm like, please fix episode 4 boss cutscene desync. Please fix episode 2 worm boss absolute BS when it becomes untargetable for no reason. Please fix... <laughs> please fix some of these things. They fix things like the sorcerer drops. I'm like, listen, if they... If they get rid of one of my biggest complaints and why I didn't do episode 4 with all the stupid zoos clipping in and out of rooms in different parties where the zigzag room of hell and massive attack B where just no rare would ever drop because the room is too skinny to keep them on the path like I'm glad that got fixed but it's also nice they fixed the things like the bull claws dropping rares which I find very funny when you look at the classic mode charts and you can see they removed that yeah, I feel like it's gotten worse. I don't know what it is happening with it. Like, I feel like before if we were like vaguely near it, it would pull us in. Now it feels like the best way to describe it is I think the trigger is a cone and it's like a really narrow cone. So I could be slightly to the right of the crystal and be touching the crystal, but not trigger the cutscene, which I don't think is correct. I don't think I should be able to do that. And then also be desynced, even though I'm at the crystal. This year was the first time I have ever triggered the episode 4 boss. Or got close enough that I should have triggered it. And was actually touching the crystal, but could still not join in. Crazy. Absolute craziness. My goal, Tiggy says, welcome Tiggy by the way. My goal going into the event was to get at least one to photon sphere. Oh, rip. I mean, I think it's pretty expected to get somewhere between 40 and 50 gold badges if you're playing about the rate that I am, since I think that's literally how much we've picked up. So, like, between two events, we can pretty much get there. Kill me, it's a serious addiction. Damn, the callout is real, though. I don't know if you saw earlier, Tiki. Random Grants 30 dropped. I would like I would like to state I have literally gotten Grants 30 before a single dwarf on a clear in this event. <laughs> Something's not right, chat. <laughs> Statistically, that doesn't make any sense. Where are the dwarf on eclairs? Where are they, chat? I'm confused. Are are they taking a vacation? We still have yet to see one, by the way, this entire event. We've done how many episode fours? At least 20. That's like what? If there's 9 Dwarfons, that is a total of 180 Dwarfon attempts with 45% rare boost. We're, we're not out of statistical improbability range yet, but we're getting into the oh really range. <laughs> we're getting into the really? Really. Like at least we've seen Pazuzu and Delrappy, but we've legit not seen a single rare Dwarfon. It's kind of crazy. Rip Dorfon. Let's petition for Dorfon Eclair to be less rare. <laughs> Just Dorfon Eclair. <laughs> yeah, I picked it up in the underground, Tiggy. So I guess we'll call that a bonus. I've only gotten, I think, two level 30 techniques. You know, aside from your classic buffs or whatever. I'm gonna paralyze that real quick. Place Rappies in episode one with the Claire's. People, people, people already don't leave Forest. We don't need to give them more reasons. <laughs> they're, they're now they're definitely never leaving. Holy. Anyway, let's. Oh, that zoo got hit real high up. I still got it though. Nice another PD. <laughs> what was going on visually there? I think I confused the game. It confused me when I looked at it. 
Oh, there we go. There's the free kill for the team. And we're gonna recognize we have a few less demon users, so... Gotta... Now we sub in Paralysis. When you don't have a strong demon user, that's where the Paralysis comes out. Yeah, I think it jumped, but it got, like, confused. They just teleported to Earth. <laughs> it's interesting. Can you imagine, Tiggy, you go to stream later and you're like, hey, hey everybody, we're gonna go for Gafoe level 30 today. It'll be a 100 part series. I was gonna say, what is more likely for you to get the level 30 technique from caves or to actually get a uh, Psycho 1? Make it drop nothing, true story. Oh man. There's the power of the confused trap, even though I don't have a melee weapon. Shoot him in the back of the head. What are the normal drop odds, by the way, on the items? It's not one in a million, is it? It's been a long time since I bothered looking at level 30 techniques. When I realized that they were just, like, not feasible, I gave up. I don't think I'm gonna update my section ID video for what, what areas to hunt for level 30 techniques, for example. So put that into the no thanks category. Put a confused trap down. I almost killed it. I was so close. If I had powered attack there, I think I would have killed it. I think I was too reserved in my combo. That cost me a kill. Wait, I can't pick this up. Oh, I think. Um... That's fine. Drop a tri in the next room. <laughs> I saw that tri just going <laughs> just gone. There we go. Goodbye, my trap. I was gonna say, Tiggy already has a Seal J sword. Somebody get a V101 just now or something? Didn't see. Just saw the word nice. I mean, fortunately, Tiki, if you have a Hue cast at least, I, I find Sky Lee solos actually pretty quick. be honest with you. I really think you need to multiplayer it. Oh, team's not grouped at all. Oh, wait. Oh, we, we didn't kill it. Good, good, good. Okay, we got time to regroup. Ow. There we go, that was a much tighter fireball. That makes it easier. That confusion though is rude. Yeah, the reason I didn't like it with the Hue to roll is because you would spend time buffing, whereas the Hue cast, he just kind of red blades into full combo. He just buffs in between waves.
Rod is 178. Congratulations. I'm just gonna lock him down real quick and go back to some damage. That's not damage. Hard Vulcan, please. How are you not at the top of the list? Should always be at the top of my list. Freeze Tron. My zoom. I'm gonna put a happy little freeze trap down. I'm gonna shoot all the traps. This should kill a vast majority of them, except for the one that's near me. He's a big troll. Goodbye. Just stay near the Rappies so they don't spook, hopefully. Imagine HVSJS in a single run. I say that's living the dream. We technically did some, uh,. PW4 to start the stream, Tiggy. Tiggy missed out. So sad. Aw, untargetable. Boo. Can't do anything about that. Now I can. Alright, with two casts, this should be easy. I'm gonna go for the far one. Um. Murphy, you could take the two closest Gorn detonators. Oh, you're gonna start the combo? Oh, that is... that's brave. Right, you got it. I could do this in time, it's gonna be tight. There we go. I locked down mine. I'm just gonna stall for the group. There we go. I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna be like, oops. Sucks to be those Marissa. Get actually wrecked. Why did it shoot the satellite lizard? Kim, please. <laughs> there we go. At least my freeze trap went off when I wanted it to. I think uh, Murphy helped with that a little bit. The game was like, no, we're gonna spin 180 and hit the satellite lizard. I'm actually getting trolled. I'm just going for the zoo. I'm tired of getting hit by that thing. Yeah, this quest is super good for XP. The fire trap down, free damage. Buy other zoo. trick to get through. I'm gonna quit my frozen shooter. Let's help Murphy a little bit with this wave. I'm gonna get the one that's over here. Put a happy little free strap down here. Put the free strap there. Should die due to chip damage. There we go. See? That was faith in the groove. I'm like, I put it at 200. Like, listen, we're not gonna spend time cobbling it all the way down. I believe somebody will chip that out. There we go. Nice little freeze trap for them. Still got seven for the next room. Bob cast, yeah, pretty much. I, I'm gonna draw big question marks on the board. Why that targeted the satellite lizard and not the zoo in front of me? Big question marks on the board, chat. I don't understand. Yes, I auto aim. Sometimes I understand it, and then other days I'm like, 
not targeting the closest thing or the thing closest to my angle. I don't understand it sometimes. Welcome, Amadeus. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. Uh, I mean, I, I got a level 30 technique, but that's not what I'm hunting, sadly. Looking more either for a better Galatine or a Heaven Striker. We might switch over to some Heaven Striker runs now that we have double cast Horse. That just kind of makes sense. I think we went for enough boss drops here. do the confused trap with Murphy I think we're both gonna have a happy little confused trapping see I'm invincible so they can target me all they want they're not getting through this start getting back into the game well you have about a week left in the uh, event so hopefully you end up enjoying it I got six freeze traps so that means I can do Pyrogoron, Goron Detonator, Goron Detonator Pyro Wave? Or Goron Wave? I think so. Uh, I, I can afford to spam a bit more. What is the event drop? Badges. You want to get a lot of clears as fast as you can since you're at the end of the event. Somebody did a happy face. I'm to make something interesting drop just then. Review. Otherwise, there is a lot of event quests active at the moment. Oh, just a Star Race. So. so what I would recommend is that if you want to take advantage of really strong Episode 4 drops, now would be the time. If there's things where there's a mix of like rare enemies and other drops you want, rare enemy up is basically at max. Yeah, I could have been a little more aggressive there with traps. I ended with one extra. Oh well. How much I could do about that. We're just doing boss rush since we did like a bazillion anniversary quests. We technically have gotten almost everything on my list at this point, aside from Heaven Striker, just to say we got everything. So we got Jaya's, we got Disco Brave Man, we got... Uh, I guess I didn't get a vice. <laughs> oh boy, chat, want to do purple caves later? Yeah, there is, uh... I think we got everything in the Power 6 except for Heaven Striker and Vice from the Common 3. <laughs> See, there we go. <laughs> it was the siren call to Tiggy. I might for the chat. I mostly actually just want a Vice. Unironically, I don't really care about Cycle 1 and Caves. Although, honestly, I could probably play Mines for that if I want to. Not bad, the anniversary quest for it. Um, the other item that I would say is kind of like a stretch goal would be Yashminikov. I have yet to see a Yashminikov. That thing eludes me forever. I believe in you, chat. You can kill it. I'm a cast. I'm not doing damage. Plum cards for everybody. Welcome, Crimson Tears. Hope you're doing well. I mean, I guess I'll bully the boss. I mean, I have Mag Blast, so I should probably try to bully the boss here. So, if somebody... Let me know, chat. Does anybody else have Mag Blast other than me? Because if we get twins here, this would save a lot of time. Nineteen. Okay, you got twins. I'm gonna play it safe, so I don't get one shot by Tornado. Because unfortunately, that is the problem with broadcasts and why I don't like high health characters. I think this should work. Using. Oh, I got trolled. Uh, we're gonna do this to hopefully dodge. Unfortunately, because of the tornado, he made my timing a bit awkward. This might miss. What a troll. <laughs> he missled into tornado. That's kind of unlucky. We still got it, though. Sort of. It's fine. We'll just clean up the boss now. I actually see which one I didn't hit. I'm actually just going to shoot the one I didn't hit for a little bit. I can fix that, mostly. If it's just one, that's actually easy to fix. 
See that? It's like I didn't even miss. Although somebody else just crit and messed that up. That's so sad. Don't hit it. Please don't hit it. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. No! Reason you don't hit that is it's gonna reel back now. If you had waited, we would have had a better window. So sad. Yeah, I never prefer to hit it before the laser, because it's the only way to correct it, I think, is Grants. So, I might as well just stay in here. Oh, actually, they got popped. Yeah, so so if I hit 3 out of 4, that you can correct it with Frozen Shooter. That's why I do sometimes bring it into this run. It very rarely happens, but that was a scenario where I got, like, hard zoned by Missile and Tornado, which is just unlucky. We're gonna chip it out a little. Should be GG here. Purple CCA for Vice V501. Do you run CCA for Vice though? Usually I think of other hunts for that. Like I think mines or caves before I think CCA. Like, I'm not saying it can't drop there, but I'm like, is that even worth doing, is the question. Because you have to think of it this way, Cannabin has a better drop rate, and Zabudas have a good drop rate. Yeah, it makes sense if you're going for a dress plate. That I understand. But I mean as, like, a main hunt. I'm more likely to do, like, a... What is it? Phantasmal World 2? Like, I, I don't think CCA has a lot of Gibbons by default. Because uh, Gibbon, Gibbon can potentially be really solid there. If you clear the whole quest, I would say it makes sense. Because that's like a genuine vice run if you want to do it that way. Uh, I don't like War of Limits 2. That would be Zabuda. What would Bulmers be? I don't know. No, I don't usually hunt Bulmers. Each out knows offhand. Amadeus says I've been playing a 145 funeral and... Any gear I should be hunting for, I think she has a V101 of Vivian at Daylight Scar without hit. Um, Dark Flow? Do you have a Dark Flow? You have to do groups probably for that though. She's a little awkward without it. Yeah. You would know, you, you would have to do a Respect of Tomorrow to get it. It's not an easy hunt for her to do, so it's usually something you get assistance on. The people usually run uh, blue or yellow, typically, for that uh, quest. Otherwise, like, Temple Vivian is not bad. If you have a, a mediocre one, you could get upgrades. Um, hunters don't really look for a whole bunch. So you could, in theory, try to do, depending on your ID, Excal hunts, because I don't see Excal in there, for example. Because that's just generically useful. Uh, for Volt Op stun locks or a Galatine for Volt Op stun locks. Okay. Oh, that a 50 hit freeze laser. What trash. Yeah, yellow ID can option select Galatine or Daylight Scar. So if you have. Oh no, it's a Huna roll. She's not a quest for her. I was gonna say, yellow ID uh, full boss run is kind of nice. You option select Daylight Scar or Galatine, and both are really good for Hunter, but Hunter is not the best at it. Uh, let me probably host with a purple ID. Give me a sec. I got sidetracked. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think we do. Probably new mop up operation three on purple. I could bring in a force, I think. Game, please. Is indeed been derailed. So, purple ID, new mob op operation three. I'm not looking specifically for vice. It can drop in this hunt. I'm more looking for high XP plus a little bit of Yashminikov. Because I think Yashminikov, if I remember correctly, is on Goron or just Goron by itself. It's not too bad. Yeah, and it has the most in new mop-up operation 3. 
So I'll go ahead and play double force into this. Cast is not bad here, but I think we might need two healers just to make it a bit easier. Because that is kind of rough to demand, like one force to keep people alive. Still got a little bit of even beat left. So let's say we went for Yashma Nikov and Vice here. Well, Luigi better have my adepts. He doesn't have my adepts? Who is my adepts? Ugh. My blue ID character should have some, but he shouldn't be the one that gets rid of it. I must have been playing as my white ID, Static Thick, and forgot to get rid of him. Because I can guarantee you I don't have a single one in here. He's so expensive. Give me a second, chat. I'm going to go find my uh, adept. It's kind of important that I get that out of the way. I'll remake in a second. As it. Yeah, I, I don't want to do this quest with no adepts. It's absolutely brutal. Why is it telling me an account doesn't exist with that name? Did I hit a capital? Uh, Windows, please don't update literally in the middle of a stream. Please postpone. <laughs> yeah, by the way, chat, it's like, oh, we found a Windows update for you. Would you like to restart now? I'm like, no. <laughs> right, chat? No. Oh, Lincoln Park has it. Uh, let's go get that real quick. Sorry about that, chat. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, Windows, no. I'm like, I'm clearly doing things with the computer, clearly. And 9 o'clock is not one of the update hours. Please respect the update hours that are set in your system. What is the point of the update hours if it doesn't listen to a chat, honestly? I'm foolery. Also, we hit the end of the other soundtrack. Yeah, I've I've not found limiters. I, I have given up on limiter. I'm gonna be like, real talk. I don't think it's happening. I never see them. We've now switched over to Etrian 5. Okay, you should not have my spare V801 or any of these. Or that. Or that. Or this. Or honestly any of this. Okay. Sorry about that, let's continue. <laughs> I was like, would you like to update in 10 minutes? And I'm like, no. <laughs> right? It's just, no? How about, how about when I turn off my computer every day? How about you do it when I boot up then? Why you gotta do it during my active hours? What a useless feature. I have yet to see Windows respect it. I swear it updates at the dumbest times. Anyway. There we go. I mashed through. We're good. Now I can go get my double adepts. I don't have to worry about where my rebarda merge is for when I'm doing bosses. I've got a decent chunk of even beat left. And if people are doing specific hunts that they're looking for, we might switch into those. Or, if chat wants, I will volunteer to do purple caves a couple of times. I'm not doing, like, the... The endless grind of it, but I'll do it for the sake of looking for vices. I'll do the hell cleave approach. Oh, did I take my Gapoe merge? I don't think I did. Ooh, good, I put it back. We we lucked out on that one. I'm gonna put on Ripoe actually, like a bit better in this run. <laughs> Tiggy's excited to do purple caves. Yeah, we'll probably do it once the beat is done. Are you joining in, by the way? Uh, uh, brain is not braining. Nappa. I did think about that. It's the thing in 90 have 5 hit vice. I wish. I'm really happy with the 60 hit one. Like, that's going to be really, really hard to top. But... I'd like to say at least we saw a vice drop <laughs> during the event. I d it doesn't need to be good. I just need to see it, and then we're good. 
Oh, uh, Draco Cougar, we're just doing some episode four. It's a P1, but pretends that the desired sensor doesn't happen. Damn, no worries. I just wanted to make sure you weren't uh, left out there. Yeah, we'll do this quest, and we'll see. We don't technically need PP laser. <laughs> I mean, I, I literally have seen Grant's level 30 before we saw a single Dwarf on Eclair. Like, this is actually madness. I might have to host a bonus stream on Saturday that's like, play until I see Dwarf on Eclair. <laughs> just like, like actually just, I just want to make sure it still exists in this game. I'm not entirely convinced. Okay, so we're going to stun luck with some Rafoe. This will buy us some time to get Foe stack. Oh, did I not have a magical piece? Oh, that was a mistake. I should have taken that. Old Bash. We'll chip him out a little here. We one good Foe stack here. Better than nothing. Yeah, I'll try to keep Murphy alive. See how it goes, though. It's nice. This room is probably more Gafoeable. Once it gets into this phase, then I Rafoe. Get rid of them real quick. Team out here. Put a Gafoe stack to slow down the next wave. Switch back to Rafoe. Ouch. I've been slapped. Leave me alone, enemies. You see how far away they are? I'm just gonna Rafoe them. Reminder, we'll have to go through the south when we're done. Enemies are just too far for Kafoe. I'm just gonna Rafoe spam. Or DPS a second here. Banana Dote, gross. Welcome, Dragon. Hope you're doing well. So maybe we'll do the infamous purple caves. We'll probably have a rotation of some players. It looks like some people have come in. Bronze badge. Also, apparently, forces can equip swordsman more to unseal it. You know what? I've never tried that before, but I, that's interesting. It does save a lot of time, at least. It does mean Hugh Neural has no purpose, though. Actually, like, oops. Be a Fomar to offset the limiter ATP. That way, you can wield that and uh, an X cow. Shayos on ceiling, I guess. You know, all, all those times that you do it, yeah. I just wanted the game to point me to where the enemy was. Okay, this upcoming room, the fire room specifically, is really good for Gafoe. So, if I'd brought the Gafoe merge, I probably would have equipped it now and then moved into the next area. But since we're only doing one of these, I don't have to be worried about super optimal equipment. I just need to make sure my add-ups are free, because that would bother me when I go to play other characters. Like, I don't really want a magical piece, for example, when I'm doing caves. Like, me picking that up doesn't really matter. I'll probably wear the three seals, though. Which, sadly, lightning damage is reduced in multiplayer, so... It's kind of mediocre. It's useful for EDK, but the way you play it, it shouldn't ever be relevant. Debuff, debuff. 
goes pretty safe. Actually, I'm gonna stack up Bowie for this next wave. Wow, I'm taking so much damage even through Jelen. That's actually insane. Defense, please. Should kill them. There we go. Good, good Bowie stack there. It's meant to be a Rip Bowie. Alright, so the upcoming room will be, um... I'd like to walk to where the satellite lizards spawn, like roughly the middle one of the pack. And then if I Gafoe spam there, then I basically don't need to think about anything at all. My goal is to just reach that magical place. <laughs> I looked at my trifluid count and I went, oh no. This is going to be an interesting run. We're just going to stack Gafoe here. The reason we want to do it here is because we can hit every enemy that spawns. And then prepare for the next wave that is Gafoe stackable. I like this song. Probably put this up there in my battle theme list. I don't know if it's like top 20 or anything, but it's probably top 100. What a nice catch to it. Oh, thank you for the pity double tri fluid. I I kind of needed it. It was it was dire. <laughs> I was like, I looked at my inventory and went, oh, that wasn't nine tri mates. I saw in my inventory or not tr nine tri fluids. It was tri mates. That was gonna be an awkward round. Feed my forces tri fluids, yeah. <laughs> I went in there with, I think, a single tri fluid. This is gonna make that run real interesting. Thank you. Four bronze badges. My poor Rappy Mag. That's how you can tell I'm on my level up Mag. I just like the catchiness of the song. It's nice and simple. A solid battle theme. was real. I could try to wield the Glide Divine just to slow my spell casting down slightly. Hooks on Yuzu, I reflectly stunlock you. Fluid, no question. Ooh, the teleports. That was weird. Like that behavior from them at all. So lost. Do I oh, I have stuff in here I don't need. I want that mine material, but it's like, what to drop? Um, guess this. I wish I could pick that up. I guess that's better. Sorry about that. 
The event unfortunately makes you hold so many items. Like, it'd be kind of annoying when I don't have the character set up with that. I'll probably put one or two items away in the bank and keep, like, literally the bare minimum versus, like, nice to haves. That way I can potentially hold my magical piece if I want it later. Oh boy. I, I was tanking those hits for real. Wow, I actually killed them with grants. That's kind of shameful. Uh, so we fought a, a lot of Gorons. We have not seen the Yashminika. I think that's going to be my future goal. We're going to do more purple ID. So four. Actually, it's still kind of even beat. Maybe it's worth doing one more of these. I was thinking it would run out by now, but... Not too bad. Let's sort our inventory, because it's like an actual mess. I don't even have like that... Like, I have Jill Cloak, which is arguably not needed at the moment. I don't need to be that optimal with my damage. Oh, they got spooked. Shame. With that XP. Rip. Come on, regular Gorons. Where's the Yashminika? have enough to complete the run. <laughs> I was gonna say, normally when I play it, I play triple add-ups, but I'll take at least two add-ups. That way I don't need to constantly bank afterwards, save myself like actual minutes of real time, not banking. Frame perfect Ripoe, we should be pumping out a ton of damage. He went so far from me, I don't even know what to say. Like, he legit was just all the way at the other end of the arena. Oh, come on, seriously? I got hit before the Ripoe came out? That's unlucky. Speaking of unlucky, how come that didn't target the thing I was looking at? Game, please. I feel like I just got cheat. I feel like I definitely just got cheated there. Why didn't Rifoe hit the thing I was looking at? I don't understand. He did the animation, but n nothing happened. And I know I was looking at him because if, when I undid the menu, I could see him. Him, please. Unless he was doing some weird teleport shenanigans. The only thing I could think of. Because that caused me to get hit a couple times. Oh well. Hector Rafoe spam. He was ready to kill forces. I, like, I cast it like three times in a row and not a single one hit. Like, that was like mind blowing to me. I was like, really? I'm, be I'm being hit by enemies actively. How is this not hitting at least one of these? Actual madness. How crucial would I say magical piece is for forces? Um, I put it on like the low to medium priority. If you do a lot of solo hunts, I feel like it makes sense to use. I wouldn't put it above the majority of your other items, and I would even also rather recommend limiter before then. Obviously, something like a Foe merge or getting your basic merges, I think, are like highest priority possible. Magical piece is okay. It's just a way to squeeze out 10% more damage, which makes sense, and you get a lot of use from it if you're doing, like, low-level runs. 
It technically also buffs your Gazond, which is useful in some hunts. So I would say, like, if I'm a female character, I would raise the priority. Males can get away with unarmed casting, and some of the damage loss balances out with pure number of casts. But I would say for females, they don't really have a good option. Yeah, it's... Yeah, but you could just gefo... I, I don't know. I was gonna say, technically there, it, it, you, if you gefo a stack, you don't need it as, at the end of the day. A lot of things, if you could always stack in single player, it doesn't really matter. So just check the thresholds, whether or not it's needed. Females are more likely to need it because they don't have any inherent boosts. Most of the males are usually strong enough that you don't see a big difference. I will see a big difference here because that stops me from eating like five tri-fluids. So you're kind of trading uh, TP loss for more damage per individual fireball. Would it be better to go blue or red merge? Either. You never use red or blue merges. <laughs> I'm gonna go option select, none of the above. You would always rather prefer the full 30% on your barrier. You don't really want to do 20% on it. So that's why most people don't bother with it. Bonural is the only one that can almost kind of get away with it. But at the same time, she would just 100% rather have the ability to do 30% more. Uh, is there damage split between raw and basic techniques? If split, you mean like 90-10? Baby. I, I would accept the 90-10 split. She's not using simple text to clear. Unless you're talking about specifically for bosses. In which case, you just wield Summit Moon. Or even, you don't even Summit Moon in some scenarios. You could just bring in the Laconium Clubs. Let's do that quest one more time. And then we'll move on. The caves. Yeah, the, it, it is like, like in this quest, for example, what would you simple tech? She, she has nothing that you would simple tech. It makes sense if you're talking about falls, but then you would just wield summit, summit moon and be done with it. Like there's nothing in here you really ever want to simple tech. There's too many enemies and most episode four quests are like that. If you're saying like, oh, technically I can fight zoos with it. I'm like, no. You're still not going to nerf 10% of every other hunt just for zoos or something. Madness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, Bonu Roll has a fun time versus Falls with Tex and single player. She has a fun time there. Yeah, I mean, Murphy's just pointing out what I'm saying here, where it's like, yeah, you would just wield the Foe Merge. You would always take the 30% over the 20%. So I, I don't think we're in disagreement on that point. I was thinking Murphy was going to say Red Merge or something in that scenario. <laughs> but like, no, I still wouldn't even do it then. Rebarda Merge is used in Episode 4, boss. Uh, Paralysis getting trolled. Uh, two of the three bosses require you to do Rebarda in single player play as a force, so I always bring them for that. Also, since the run takes forever, I will actually wield, uh, what's it called? I'll actually bring Congeal Cloak into that run a majority of the time. Just because, like, I don't think the 10% will mostly get me to the point where I will be able to kill something I couldn't. Where if I'm using Gafoe Merge plus Magical Piece, I should be already hitting those thresholds. Whereas the boss needs as much help as you can, because you're doing like 20 plus casts. If you could reduce that by even a single cast, it's worth it. Parameter says I swapped to Ice Staff for Bard Merge and Kajil Cloak. Exactly. Exactly. That That's also why this character has like the Kajil Cloak there. Where I was mentioning earlier, where I'm like, it's technically not needed. Because I, I use it for the other quest. 
yeah, you don't really need the other techniques down to that level. Oh gosh, please get them off of me. I'm getting hard bullied. Yeah, a lot of people just kind of lazy three seals. I'm gonna wave my finger at you. Please don't lazy three seals if you're doing forces damage. Please do not, please do not three seals lazy. I beg of you. You slow the rundown so much and you don't realize it. If you're in episode four and you do that, I'm, I'm, that I will get very mad at you if I realize that's happening. I, I don't like that. It's one thing if you don't have the merges, but if you just choose not to. Like, you're literally adding, like, four seconds every single wave that you don't do that on. And think about it in a run that's already, like, 18 minutes. Please don't make the run take two and a half minutes, because you can't be bothered to swap. Please don't do that. Like, the, the damage threshold matters. If it's, like, a if it's like three forces or, like, some very unique scenario, maybe. Maybe you could get away with that. But a lot of the times, like, unless you are doing frame-perfect Gafoe casts, you're barely going to do 50% of their health. So if you're with two other forces and you are not being optimal with it, you are not going to be able to one-shot a wave. You are going to lead to the team taking damage, and that wastes a lot of time. So I'm calling everybody out on that one. It, it's one thing if you don't do any damage on the force, right? If we're talking episode two, you, it's whatever. You you do what you can to get through episode two, but don't please don't do that in episode four, I beg of you. Purple caves the clock. Almost digging. Yeah, like, I understand, like, people have to build up comfortability, but, like, you know, like, I've learned that I want to save my fingers because my fingers are tired and I need to do work later. So I'm going to go into here and do the frame perfect casts. We literally have seen that, like, doing this adds anywhere, depending on your consistency, between one and three extra Gafoes per stack. So that is potentially somewhere between like 400 and 1200 damage. And that makes a really big difference. As I said before, like just even like little steps, you think you're potentially not losing that much time. And you can see how much time you're losing by holding forward. And if you're able to move forward, that time is where you're not casting a Bowie. But if you're like really mashing it, you still lose a little bit of time. So you might only lose one Gafoe's worth of Gafoe in the long run. Anyway, back to Kapoe stacking with this one. Yeah, and there's no reason to not swap for the boss. You have, like, the world's longest walk to go hit the boss. Please, please, please swap stuff for at least for the boss. It's the difference between your Rabarda doing, like, 400-something versus 300-something on a 6,000 health boss. It adds up very quickly. Yeah, like especially if especially if you have no ice buffs, then you're you're probably not even breaking 300. Where like Rebarda merge, congeal cloak, etc. Like the congeal cloak, I would say is more of a stretch, but to have just an ice staff and Rebarda merge for it, I don't think is a big ask in terms of PDs, especially for people that are able to afford the challenge mode weapons. I'm like, come on, it's like five PDs. I'm like, come me a break. It's like one for the ice staff, maybe two for Rebarda merge. Maybe. Not even. The little congeal cloak with the remainder. So I'm trying to get better at using the menu. Because sometimes I do find it easier to react if I think I'm going to get hit. So I'm going to purposely not go in that menu. And you know, sometimes it's a good judgment call. Most of the time it's probably not. But I'm going to be able to react in a way that I'm comfortable until I slowly get to the point I'm only using the menus kind of things. So if I have to do it this way versus, you know, Gazan stun locking or whatever, it makes a difference. Yeah, I tried getting an Ignition Cloak. We might go for one later. We'll see. But it's just kind of those little differences. Like, look how little trifluids I've used. I've used a trifluid and a half, I think, because I picked up one earlier. Compared to, like, when I was unarmed. Like, if you do, like, triple add of magical piece, 
You're basically never backing ever for trifluids. You should find whatever you need in the run. You can see I'm doing like 476 in terms of damage. I think I was doing 380 with fireballs earlier. And again, so now I'm doing about 90 more damage of fireball and I'm saving a lot of TP and please get them off of me. And the Gafoe stack does some big damage. So you see here, Satellite Lizard took around... Fortunately, they jumped a little far away to show it off. If they land on me directly, they take about 2,000 damage. So technically, if I'm exactly where they spawn, they take a lot of damage. Like, that was a good example. They spawn closer to me, and they got Hepo. So by the time they also spawn, another Gafoe will hit them, another Gafoe will hit them, and they'll be within, like, the 500 range. And that's from, like, just stacking Gafoe's. If you don't have, like, magical... Pe or if you don't at least have Fire Staff, and you're not using Gafoe Merge, you're probably going to leave them closer to 1,000 health. That makes a difference between whether the people in your party have to do, like, multiple swings to combo kill or not. And that also adds to the run. So if you're wondering where I'm saying you lose time in the run by not switching, like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, those little things make a big difference in the long run. Like, any time the Hunters can just focus on the actual things that aren't Gorons is big. So you can see the Gorons are basically at half health and they died just trying to reach me. Because I'm doing optimal casts. If I had been doing less damage, I would have been hit. I might have been knocked down. That would have been a big time loss. Another example. Most of the Gorons here, they're below half health. They haven't swung at me yet. So they just barely hit me there. So that just means, like... If we were a little, a little faster with it, or if I, uh, or if I had uh, maybe debuffed, maybe that would have led to them dying sooner. That's where we gotta examine, you know, where we could do the improvements. Now, granted, if we're in a room where we're just spamming Rafoe, shouldn't have to worry too much here. Nice little buff icon. Get my own ban. Please. I'm game. I'm holding down left and then I'm hitting the button. Please register. Thank you. Please thank you. I I promise you I was holding a direction that entire time. I can't believe did I actually get frame perfect at Rafoe? Is that what happened? It's like normally see like I turn if I'm holding. I think I actually had frame perfect Rafoe there. I trolled myself. So sad. Like, you can do it. Um, you don't have to bend you to get the frame perfect. It's just unlikely. Especially getting it back to back like that. It was actually just unlucky. Like, see how I'm doing the little micro steps? Now I just turn there. That's what I was expecting to happen when you hold. I apparently was too perfect with my timing. Control. I like to do normally I like to do my first cast manually and then I like to swipe into the menu while the other thing is happening there and that works a little better you could also stun lock like this like if you don't want the Goron detonator to hit you you can do stuff like that and it's the same thing as going in the other menu it can be a little more useful because if you're looking for example rare enemies or you're trying to figure out positions of players or you're trying to figure out buffs or debuffs I find it much easier than this, because it removing the minimap kind of blows. So if you just want to get little sneak peeks, it makes sense to kind of learn it the other way. I will gladly accept that defense, I kind of needed it, not gonna lie. So I know it's gonna be Goron Detonators in the middle, so we're just gonna wait for the cast to deal with that. Yeah, we're, we're gonna put that in the no way zone. And okay, now we're just gonna focus on stunlock with Razan, with frame perfect Razans. 
If we still unlock the Goron too, I'm okay with it. Should be fun. Again, frame perfect, so we're more likely to interrupt. So most players are pretty safe here. Because we're just straight up interrupting. So yeah, the other room where I missed by like one Gafoe, arguably had I been using a Gafoe merge, I probably would have killed without getting hit by the Gorons. Those are the kinds of situations I'm talking about where we're looking to like make the improvements. So for me, I just brought in Gafoe and Reseals. It's fine. I'm just losing a little damage here, that's all. I'm still eye rolling at the frame perfect Rafoe. I can't believe I did that. Actually trolling myself. I'm expecting myself to be a couple frames slow, but alas. Left a power material behind, but that's fine. Some of them are kind of like out of the way. I don't feel like picking them up. That one I. That one I legit was just next to, I could have picked up. Ooh, Ranger going for Healing Circle? You should avoid those. That's only worth it for, uh, casts, for sure. Just use a Tri-Fluid. There we go. This should be a really nasty stun lock on them. Yeah, you can see the power of our foe here. Like, we just straight bully that enemy from existence. Okay, I'm gonna refoe here. Give him all the forces. I mean, you should keep something to restore your own TP. You shouldn't go, like, empty. Um... I guess I dropped three star atomizers. I can't really do anything with them. Chilling above 25. Oh, did you need- oh, that's true. I could have all for a good one. Pretty sure I have a few. My bad, I should have offered earlier. I'm glad you got one. It's nice and fast. Because I'm using arm casting, see how long it takes for them to rotate around? We could do some serious damage to them. Probably want to go back to the material. Not all of them, but at least some of them. You know which. This up, pick that up, pick that up. That's everything I need. Up in. Bombs up for the the good bonds. Hope you're doing well. So leave everything on him for now. Okay, I'll I'll host a caves game. So we're gonna cycle in Tiggy. I'm gonna need somebody to potentially step out. No, Tiggy's been dying for this run. Tiggy sits. Tiggy awaits. Welcome, Tiggy. I'll make the game so Tiggy will force me to remember which massive attack we're doing. 
Assuming it's B. Murphy will step out. Thank you, Murphy. Uh, I should probably put away my Heavenly Battle. It doesn't do anything here. I'm not using my bringers currently. Then we'll summon Tiggy. Might have stepped away briefly. There we go. Uh, put that away. Put away this. I should have a cure paralysis, which is the only thing I super care about in this run. Also, big oops, I put this in the wrong bag. Yeah, I caught that. That would have been real annoying later to find out. Yeah, I love the mother garb on this character. Got a spare. Why do I have a 30 hit glide to find? Chad, I really question these my inventory sometimes. Like, listen, I gotta be real accurate with my buffs. Okay, so we can fit one more person. Gotta hit the anti special. It doesn't do a lot of damage, sadly. More, more powerful than my magical piece, though. Napa's stepping out. Okay, so we got a free slot. We have a game with Draken today. Let's get Draken in, actually. I it to be a somewhat fair rotation. At least you could tell which force is my purple force. It's, it's an unforgettable experience to look at him with his green hair. Also, YouTube, please. <laughs> I was like, are you watching? I'm like, yeah. Let's see if a vice drops today. We'll get Tiggy and I Psycho Mon at Red Ring again, and also a Parasitic Gene Flow. We're gonna go for the Trifecta. Right. So Tiggy, which maximum attack is it? Is it B? Or me? I'm assuming B. gonna say most of the time people do the rainbow room but it doesn't hurt to ask I'm gonna say I'm, I'm not gonna do very much in this quest other than debuff to be real with you I'll stun lock the lilies if I have to but that's about it do a nice little this little debuff here and there Yeah, I'm gonna recognize I'm not gonna be the speed clear. I guess in theory I could Gafoe stack if I really wanted to. Yes, but like most of the time there will be a trap with uh going off and instant detonating. Oh, teams are really far ahead of me. That's not good. Good luck, team. I believe in you. Um it's only worth splitting preemptively. It's not worth holding up the run most of the time. If it happens, it happens, but this quest is fairly fast paced, so unless your team is like really weak, you just go for the insta kill. Leave me alone, random milk weak. Oh, 
I'm still liking the uh, the blushy mode. Clean it up pretty nicely here. So with Glide Divine and I'm gonna switch into three seals. Should be basically immune to them. I'm at what, 6380k? I think I'm immune to some lilies. I might be immune to these. I always forget. They're, they're different between episode one and episode two. I I'm effectively immune to them while wielding this, so I mostly don't have to care. If I want to be totally immune, I would just easy put on a dress plate and guarantee it. But uh, this is close enough. I always forget. It's like, there's like a, I want to say it's like 66 and 68 or 63 and 68, I think, are the EDKs. We'll just slow them down with Rivardo. About the extent of our, our journey here. There is so much death going past me. I'll do a Razan to slow them down, because I know Tiki's not at full health. I don't plan on healing Tiggy. Tiggy knows what Tiggy got into. <laughs> he's he's in the caves. He's committed to the life of zero HP. But like, listen, there will be no accidental restless from me. I mean, I could troll Tiggy by purposely star atomizing him, <laughs> but I don't think he'd appreciate it. Okay, we'll stun lock him a little bit with Razan here. Not looking for anything too crazy. I almost killed via spell damage. That was almost impressive. I think he just going straight up for the insta kill. I don't have a safety Kapoe. I don't feel like letting him do anything. Really wanted that tri fluid. How's this? We're gonna do runs until I see at least one kill Lily. Rip Tiggy. I feel like we can do like, probably do like three or four, I would guess. If we somehow get to like six runs without it, I'm moving on. <laughs> That's also my limit. That's my upper bounds. I can stun lock him a little bit with Rifoe here if I want to. K with 35k. Shame. If only that was on a vice. An okay ish. A new player. A nano dragon. I believe that is the run. Feel free to restock and do whatever. Oh, it's just an evade material? Yeah, I don't care. Nice and simple. Life or death struggle to seize the future. Battlefield theme. gonna say Tiggy if we somehow get to six and we don't see a single one I'll spend a cookie just for you on purple caves that's one out of six without saying Mill Lily Sunshot only one level away from Red Rain congratulations Episode 4 will super power level you. It's basically a level of quests almost. Even at high levels, it's only like two levels. It's kind of insane. 
Nice, a, a vice has been found. So technically we can say we've found almost every item so far in the event. The top nine weapons, we have found eight out of nine on stream. So we'll just continue to do some Heaven Striker runs with a mix of uh, other things. So I think I should be refoeing here, I guess. Or if I'm dead center in the room, I could gefoe. Should hit all of them. Okay. I did not mean to try fluid there. That was a waste. Silver badge, sure. The way I view it, we're mostly just leveling up this character to be more useful in other runs. He's above the HP where I'd want to comfortably do, like, odd. But at this point, more HP doesn't matter. I'd rather just have stats. Uh, I will spend time to go pick up on my material. I don't want to initially hit the lilies if I can try to avoid it. Because, uh, them multi hitting is more important. I'm gonna recognize, you know, if I see them not hit after like four seconds, I'll cast something. Otherwise, I'm gonna play pretty passive in this room. Yeah, it's not the most exciting run for a force. I basically don't do anything. Like, occasionally, Rebarda, I guess, for some locks. Like one room I might get Bowie Merge on. Maybe. Slow them down for Tiggy. <laughs> Operation Keep Tiggy Safe. Freeze. Yeah, like, here's an example here. This is where I'm useful. We don't have people checking these two nano dragons. That'll just randomly kill Tiggy. From like, nah. <laughs> we need the Tiggy protection squad. Protect our vulnerable Hugh cast. <laughs> the character with somehow the lowest HP at all times. I really wonder what Sega was thinking for a lot of the balancing. I'm really curious if they ever if they just did things or if they actually talked amongst themselves and decided this is what they wanted. <laughs> they weren't. I was like, I'm just kind of like confused a little bit. Okay, so so far still no lilies. That's a little brutal. Can sort of refoe them to stun some of them. I think he is presumably wearing dress plates, so I don't think I'm super worried about Tiki getting hit. Tiki's doing all this without dress plate and actual madman for you cast. <laughs> Just the actual insanity being witnessed in real time. It needs to make Fomor have more MSC than Fomor. They're like, wow, these these funeral ATA stats, they make total sense. We're we're gonna leave them as is. 10 out of 10. Checks, checks out of my book. That's two runs without seeing a middle lily. What to dress plate? Oh no. Tiggy trolling. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not right. There we go. I don't know if I played up to this 
Or, this music doesn't sound familiar anymore. I got several stratums up, and then I just kind of gave up. It definitely wasn't due to a difficulty. Well, in a sense, it was due to a difficulty thing. I made the game too easy by just doing things that it let me do. That was kind of a, a big oopsie in the game design part. I wonder if Nexus, if they decided to fix that or not. Kind of like when I played Etrian Mystery and Dungeon, and I had a lot of fun for the challenge of single player. But then I leveled so fast that the game got really easy. But then it kind of petered out. Then it then it became a lot harder again towards the end of the game. But I found it very easy to hit max level within only the first two or three dungeons. Just by doing a few runs for single player. Is that good player? I mean, it should stun the lilies every now and then. That's all I really need to do. Maybe I'll legitimately just put on, like, free stuff. Let's go full support mode for Tiggy. Just try to freeze every enemy in the room. Like that. <laughs> there we go. This works. Probably want that mine material. Fit up a kill. I waited for them to get hit first. Up the three times. Hmm. Rip no lilies, apparently. <laughs> They're all vacationing with Dwarf on Eclair, never to be seen again. We've we've now hunted them to extinction. Can you imagine if that actually happened in PSO? They're like, so we see there's a hundred thousand forest runs. Uh, we're just gonna say all the hill the doors are dead. Yeah, the, the, the hill the tour population they're gone. There, there's no more. <laughs> they're on the endangered species list for a while. Tiggy swinging full screen. No care in the world. There you go, Tiggy. That one was yours. <laughs> freeze into insta death. I mean, it's kind of working. I'm, I'm kind of like a freeze trap dispenser. Not like I'm gonna do damage. As long as I just debuff first, we're all good. Come on, freeze and solid. Yeah, there we go. Other grass assassin actually trolling. Might as well as regen TP. Classic strats. Or LNK combats. Don't really care about those, sadly. Do that so I can keep the team a little safer. Oh. You spill food on your clothes, but keep eating anyway. It's your best plate. There you go. three runs without seeing one see this is this is why i don't do rare hunts chat if you want to know why this right here where you just get like legit nothing just eye roll what am i doing in materials by the way i guess i'm doing okay how many pds 
to put them away. <laughs> Lily is hiding, true. Damn, the autocomplete doesn't lie. I was gonna say, Tiggy, let me know if you need help with uh, PDs for trade. Talked on stream earlier. I'm willing to like loan out some PDs. Help people get important trades. But I think people having the power to do the runs is more important than like selling a lot of the secondary tertiary gear. Or potentially some items that are needed. I extend that offer to a couple people that are like longtime viewers. Then Otiki's looking for some potentially very expensive items, potentially in the 100 to 200 range. We'll bankroll Tiggy. Get these, do this to stun the room. Pick up the mine material. Oh, was it in the other room? Damn, I missed it. Damn, I missed it. The luck material, though. That's pretty good. Boink. I know if we. Might as well spam Rebarda. Maybe I'll freeze one. I'm immune? I mean, I, gotta say, I guess they can find out if I really want to. I don't think they can kill me. I'm at uh, 63 EDK. Chat can double check. I always forget the exact number. I wrote it down in my guide, and then I was like, and then I wrote, and I forgot it like a month later. I just know there's a difference between episode one and episode two, and neither of them are that high. Kind of like the ominous uh, song Unrest Ordeal of the Stars. Summoning the final boss of Lily right now. Unlock time. Oh, is it 66? Oh, it's not 68 for Temple 2. That's sad. Also, that my material is really deep in the room. I'll go back for it, though. Oh, well. I guess there's just a 3% chance I could die. No, I know I definitely can't survive Mill Lily. Silly Mill Lily. Big oof on the Lily spawn rate right now, though. <laughs> Step one of rare enemy hunt. Question if rare if rare enemy is active. Step two, see step one. <laughs> Slingshot hit 180 before we see a single mill lily. That's the real question. Oof. So I get the HP material before I log out. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even wait for the dragon drop. I'm just like, yeah, I I'm booting. I just. No thanks. That's three without seeing any. We got three more, then we'll switch it up.
There we go. <laughs> the guitar is suddenly going off in this song as we just walk back to caves. That guitar is really going all in though. Actually, you know what's more surprising about this than the, the lack of no lilies? Where are the vices? We only saw one so far. We're on our fourth run. It feels a little unlucky. I don't remember how many attempts there are. I'm assuming at least 20, but most of the drops are like 1 in 200. We're going on like... I would assume around, at minimum, 80. Only one so far has shown up between uh, four people. Especially with the boosted rate. We're fixing the drop rate and the rare rate, so it's more like a 1 in 150. Not to mention there's four people with the same chances. So I'm expecting another one, probably in another run, I would imagine at minimum. Sling shot creeping closer to the level required. Yeah, once this character gets around 200 base defense, I think I'll do some solo pod. Just want to make sure I can tank some hits without getting knocked down. But I don't want to have to rest the spam either. Buff top. Oh, I actually got that freeze. Nice. Oh, there's a vice. See? We <laughs> complain about it, eventually it'll materialize. That's how it works. I'm like, statistically, one of us should have seen one by now. I'm just saying, chat, like, if you want to do the exact odds, you take the, the, the individual drop rates, you multiply the 45% of both, and you times the number of enemies we should have seen. Just statistically, it seemed very unlikely we would complete another run without seeing it. Where's my ignition cloak? Yeah, that's, that's not happening. Apparently, like, Mill Lily. We're never seeing Mill Lily chat. It's out there with, uh, the Halloween Rappy and then the Christmas Rappy. We're all just having a little party. We're not invited, though. In their downtime, they're just talking about all the hunters that killed them. Your milk week. Legit not waiting for dragon. I don't think dragon doesn't drop anything right in purple. I'm not waiting to kill that thing. Let's see. What what pray tell are the drops? all the way up. Oh, card? Oh, whatever. I don't care about that at all. Uh, uh, it's the Balmers that have the vice. Travel plat badge? I don't believe. No belief.
Faith, faith score negative. No trust, no bully. Do what we can with this. Wow, the music got increasingly ominous. Ooh, this is a very interesting labyrinth theme. Oh, there's a vice. It's terrible, but at least I can say that it was on the list that we saw one of every item. Except for Heaven Striker. You have yet to pick one up. We tried today, though. We also tried to get uh, Yashminikov to drop for ourselves, which I think is still worth doing. It is worth a lot of XP, especially for people that are just looking to level their characters. Don't mind playing Force into it just going to get easier and easier the more this character levels. Yep. battery bomb into the very different so far a riff away so I can actually enter this room oh like I'm not interacting with them get out of here Shift corridor. There we go. I met Hellcleave Crown. Finally got a. I saw a vice drop. I didn't pick it up. But we're living Hellcleave's life now. Got to do yellow CCA. We all complete. Oh, the music just picked up out of nowhere. Hello. I don't know which one's alive because all the dots are still yellow, but I'm gonna believe. I'm surprised Tiggy did not one-shot that. That must have been a whiff. I was like, the U-Cast couldn't do 1,200 damage? What happened? Madness. <laughs> Let's go on Dark Flow. I get out of here. Little magic found in Heaven Punisher. Makes sense. Name checks out. He's like, this is the driest I've seen the lilies in a while. Where are the mill lilies? Where is he? <laughs> see the lilies. Very slowly leveling up. It's okay experience. At least with like double XP, I can tell myself I'm getting 220. So there's not meant to be gel in my bad. I'll stick around for Nano Dragon Chat just for you. My button is still on the quit though. Curiosity. Powers have I put on this character so far? I just want to do a quick number check. 8, 42. Wow, he actually caught up to Static Thick. 
Yeah, Static Vic, keep in mind, we were using him, like, almost all of the, uh, last year's, uh, Christmas event, because he was doing White Tower. I guess we have been doing a decent number of purple runs lately. Oh, we have found the Hellcleave. Speak his name and he shall appear. Just say LNK38 combat three times in the mirror. Boom. I'm gonna say, this song has gone through many transitions. I would have thought this was a new song just listening to it. But it's still the same song. This is uh, a Train Odyssey 5. Song is still Redshift Corridor for Dungeon Floors 26 to 30. I always feel like the song is over and then it kicks up again. Well, that freeze though. I mean, I guess if I spam Rebarda, maybe I'll dupe a slime. Oh, there we go. We'll do still one more run for Tiki. Stupid Mill Lily. Actually unkillable. The troll. I was gonna say, get used to disappointment with no Lily. Oh, team apparently. Also, I used to fluid there. That was dumb. With my fluid. That was player skill issue. Need to go back to the other room. I was just thinking, Tiggy, remember when we could do Anguish? Remember when we did the Anguish uh, Halloween stuff? I missed that a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Squeeze in that rare percent chance. I know. It's like, man, I missed that. See, it gives extra value to the cookie quests. I am really sad though. We we did have the ridiculous, what was it, Anguish 2 Desert Cookies. I think we broke 700 XP, if I remember correctly. Quest XP was like actually insane. Guilty Light with it. Better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah, so we're just here to stun lock, make sure Nano Dragon doesn't hit our low HP characters. is the battle music for the horror floor that we're on earlier. I can kind of hear the theme of the other one in this one. You know what, just for taking we're, we'll do the cookie quest anyway. We'll do one just for taking Then I'll level up, probably. So we'll complete our run of six, and then we'll do a cookie quest. And we'll move on. I feel like that is a very respectable number of runs we have done, compared to some of the other stuff we did today. I figured I'd give chat a chance to get the cycle one. I, I don't believe it'll draw for me, so it's, it's not for me. One of these.
I remember doing, I think, close to eight or nine hours of Christmas fiasco resets for Lilies. And I was like, never gonna believe in Lily ever again. Lily faint dead chat. Just, <laughs> I'm just kind of like, whatever. It's a, a very low stakes. So one more into a cookie quest. Let me actually just go get the cookie this run. Save me some time later. I don't need mono fluid. So when is your next big purchase, Tiki? I know you're doing handgun gold for a while, and you're like, please never let me hunt this ever again. Kept on silver too. Oh, but we put so many away already. Back up to. Have I really picked up that many PDs this week? The Siva or uh, Psycho Wong? I've been punished maybe if I don't get a draw. Do C bet at some point. I don't know if I feel like doing both Bill Lily and C bet all at once. Maybe later in the week we could do Blue ID Psycho Wand. It is technically better by a long shot over Purple Caves. Inarguably, it is much better. I mean, 180. That, that's not even a question. <laughs> it's like 180 or or uh, that one. You it, you would probably hit 200 before you see it. Like no way, it's not happening. No faith. Lord of the Beyond. What a song title. So I'm guessing this might be the final boss music. Or at least the build into the final boss music. Do you mean the Define Cycle Wand or Die Using Cycle Wand? Oh, hell yeah, I Slime Duped. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, chat. The Slime Dupe was real. Did it for you. There's a Mill Lily. Sarah has found Purple Numb card after defeating Nano Dragon. Oh, then Fine Cycle Wand. <laughs> I mean, both are probably equally true. <laughs> you can't die of Cycle Wand if. A rare? We got a rare slime? How, how come we can't get this with uh, Dwarf on Eclair? What is this nonsense? Red Squirt- They drop Red Scorpio? That's it? And cave drops are kind of whack, chat. Can we talk about this? Why can't some of these be in, uh, very hard and then stay there in that order? I think I've collected the whole, uh, cannon range. I'm really sad about the, uh, Guilty Light line of items. I actually did really enjoy those, playing as a new player. I'm sad that they just didn't scale well at all. Like, could you imagine if Phonon Mazer had, instead of being 300 attack, had been, like, 600? How much more useful it would have been as, like, an alternative for, like, earlier, um, Worm Boss, for example? where it shoots much faster than Cannon Rouge, but not necessarily more damage to hit. It would have been kind of an interesting trade-off if the weapons were even vaguely balanced. I definitely think they missed the big opportunity to go give items that were mediocre good set bonuses. They started doing it, and then they just kind of gave up. 
Like, all those things, like the officer weapons, for example, or the officer armors, if all those just had set bonuses, you could at least give them a purpose. Catch a Paku Paku, there you go. I guess I should get another one. Sorry, I was picking up branch. So many items, chat. <laughs> it's like, I probably could use another branch of Paku Paku upgrade. At least we saw two mill lilies. That's, that's a little less depressing in the mill lily hunt. I mean, I think Hellcleave and I did... I think our record was, like, nine in a row without seeing them. I am picking up random six. Listen, I can't help the random six on the floor are the most powerful weapon in the game. Listen, it's not my fault. A 50-hit ray gun can drop in caves. That's hilarious. Too bad it's terrible. Can you imagine if that was like a hell handgun, how funny that would have been? I do feel bad that they, they ended up nerfing the XP ceiling weapons. Do you even know of anybody, like honest question, anybody you heard even rumors leveling with XP weapons anymore? Because you used to be able to do that, you would go to uh, Seabed, right? And you would fight the Rico boxes and absorb XP on them. I, I think people thought they were, and that's why it's been removed from the game since like the dawn of time. That's like an honest question. I, I really don't know. There's a leaderboard for some stats I've seen last week. Oh. I mean, that's kind of a crappy reason to get rid of it if it was only for leaderboards. Welcome, Hellcleave. In honor of you, Hellcleave, I got a vice to drop. And then promptly didn't pick it up because it was terrible. But hey, we got a vice. <laughs> it's true. We got there. Put the branch away. Well, I think this is just FOE music. It's not Final Boss music. Okay. I wonder how much of it is just to say they're on the leaderboard or like actually seriously using it. <laughs> Okay, chat. We're going on an adventure. Post in the Discord. Thank you, hopefully. I do like the bluish tint in this area, I will say. Hey, I just really wanted to level path. Actually, I should be required of spamming the cube. Come on, get a dupe. These are like almost worth duping. Almost. Hey, we got a rare slime! Oh, it paid off. It <laughs> leveled me. There we go. Slime dupe into rare slime. It's easy. And you know it's rare slime because I got red Scorpio. That's my proof. Hell yeah. Slime dupe so dumb. These enemies are never getting a turn. Listen. I'm like the AC unit. I'm on full blast with Rivarda chat. They're not doing anything.
on two of them pretty high, like nine or thirteen. Gold. Oh no. Poor health will you. Never free of the boxes. I doubt I'm on any of the leaderboards. <laughs> just, I don't even think I'm in like top 100. I don't even, I don't even think for anything. I just don't think I play the game enough for it to qualify. Here's the prom dash. We're definitely gonna try to slime, dude. Oh, I hit it with the boy. My bad. There we go. More slimes. Slime. Oh, I couldn't hit them. Get them with the trap or something. That's so sad. I'm trying to dupe them. You can kill them now if you want. We we got a couple dupes. All I wanted. There we go. More slimes. Yes, beautiful experience. I'll die. I don't know where his spawn is. Somebody just find it with fire traps. Assuming it's not dead center in the arena. Yeah, it might have been like down over here. Not sure. Wait, actually, frozen shooter also works. I'll stop hitting it. I have no idea where it spawned. I'll be real with you. Another red Scorpio. I would defense him up, but I know what think he's gonna do. There's no point. Dead man walking. I think that's the most rare slimes I've ever seen in the Halloween quest. We've seen like one or two. I don't think I've seen so many naturally. And we even do this for rare slime, which is funny. Homer, I think, drops the vice. I'd like to get a vice. You just free solid. I mean, I'm not gonna stop spamming Rivarda because I, if I get unintentional slime dupes, I'll take it. Listen. Kim can still kill them if they want. I'm just going for the extras. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot of slimes. I'm gonna stack some Gafoli. Oh, Cleve keeping the PSO shops alive. Like, why does he need to spend billions of Masetta? They're like, shh, don't question it. Tell the ship can continue to operate. A lot of enemies. I got a Rebarda out. Exclamation mark. Oh. Uh, that's not really that good, though. It, it really needs to be, like, 45 hit. Legit. After attacking. Also, Rip Tiggy. The Lily has bested him. 
but I mean, you don't don't you have charge Vulcans though? Like you would definitely do charge Vulcan over Vice there. Uh, by guilty light. Not most of my tribe flew with at least. Yeah, that's why I was thinking, like, 45, it's, like, it's close enough if you're trying to, like, save on space. But, like, even then, it's, like, really want it to be 50 hit or more. I was thinking originally, like, not, not today, but I mean, like, last year, I was like, oh, maybe it has, like, a 5 to 8 ATA advantage, and it's not that bad. And then I looked it up, and I'm like, no, it's kind of terrible. It's actually kind of terrible. Uh, where's the other red Scorpio? There it is. Into the team point void you go. Uh, I'm not going to take that work because I'm going to talk to this guy. Before I get paid. Alright chat, let's change quests. I'm done with purple. I don't even think I want to hand in the quest, but I guess I could. Definitely want to get my double adepts off him, because that was driving me wild. Do you have any spare beta ones, or did I put them all on my other characters? I have one spare one. Oh yeah, I'm all purpled out. I'm like, nah. I don't even like doing these hunts. <laughs> Just like, I'll, I'll, I'll sit through them. But at the end, I'm like, yeah, screw purple lily hunts. I'm blowing moons. I'll take my money, I guess. Um... I guess I have, like, an hour before I should go to sleep. I guess that's TTF time, unless somebody wants something else. So we did a ton of episode 4 today. We surprisingly did episode 1, and not far as in episode 1. Uh, we did a couple Lily Hunts. We did an okay variety of episode 4. We ended up doing new mop up, boss rush, standard clears. Yellow RT. Uh, yeah, I could do that actually. Let's do a couple of those and then still end with TTF. Let's switch characters. Gotta get Tiggy more parasitic gene flow as well. Never enough. Uh, I don't think there's anything I'm really looking in blue. I'd rather go for the Galatine. Or play pink and maybe get something or play Viridian. Yeah, Viridian, LNK, it's not bad. It's just kind of a dry hunt in between, like, the literally seabed and the beginning, which feels kind of bad. Blue ID getting Jai in the middles, not bad. But I think at this point, you know, there, there's a million ways we can hunt Jaya. I'm not that desperate for it. We have big cannon with us. Yeah, yellow ID has a decent seabed. It has a uh, nice galatine. Box drops are really strong. Hopefully we end up just picking up a barrier for no reason playing. Yeah, yellow ID is actually surprisingly really strong for forces. Because again, it's an idea I don't see people talk about a lot, but it's actually like really, really good for forces. It's probably the second best, technically. 
uh, behind Pink ID. All the basic force items that you would want for a force are available on this character, and they get all the barriers that you want. And then they have, like, stupid good hunts in every area. It's just that people usually want Ubers, and there's okay Uber hunts with them. But you would have to play something like Endless. Which I think they're really good at. Like, Endless 1, Endless Episode 2, and RT. As well as even just Boss Clear in Episode 4. They have really strong options in every quest, or in every area, or all areas. I don't think there's like a super bad area for yellow. You want to try doing more endless? Endless is a lot of fun on yellow ID. We could even do an endless after this. I don't mind staying up later just to do another endless to be honest. Endless episode 1 is like kind of the truth. I'm going to be real with you. There's like decent ubers in every single area. And then on top of that, they just have absolutely ridiculous just good drops in most areas so even though you can't get frozen shooter in forest which is a bit of a bummer uh everything else is fantastic really strong really really strong mines uh strong ruins not like top three but probably like right after that caves are also pretty good they still get exactly what you would want in forest Yeah, the fact that you could just get Heaven Punisher randomly in caves is kind of funny. So if nothing else, you could say you went for many different Ubers. Unlike that Bull Claw has Psycho 1 for no reason. So it could lead to some pretty funny hunts. Yeah, we are 100% we are checking the boxes. Oh, that makes sense. It's the... Uh alternate version of the songs. I'm like, what usually follows the credit music? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I guess we'll I guess we'll have a conversation in which IDs do we think are the best RT IDs versus the worst. I would say probably the least used is maybe orange ID. Pink also has an issue where Pink is technically also really good at Episode 2, but a lot of their best drops just don't exist in RT. That's kind of brutal if you don't get, like, Excal in their hunt. Orange ID, I have struggle thinking about, like, what item they even go to. Like, every time I talk about it, I'm like, I have to look it up every time. So I, I'm leaning towards that one probably being the worst. But I have to take a look at the list again. I think ID at least, they still get Vivian, Rambling May. They technically get a Psycho 1 chance. So it's like, it's 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 about even when it comes to that kind of stuff. Their pink seabed is not terrible. It's just unfortunately like their best area is Temple, but not CCA. Yeah, that's a thing. Like, we, we might talk about it in a little bit. You have to keep in mind, like, there's no Gibbons, which is kind of brutal. And, you know, there's only, like, one or two Del Sabers, so, like, the only thing I can think of is they technically get Gurren and Daylight Scar, but they get, like, a chance at it. There's not, like, a lot of them. Do you know what I mean? Or at least if you're doing, like, Rappies or Lilies, there's actually, like, a decent number of them for the beginning of the quest. Like, don't get me wrong, there's not, like, a million of them, but there's way more of those than most of the enemy types outside of Yeez. There's even a decent amount of Arlins here, for example. They don't usually drop anything interesting. Viridian also has a chance here. Since there are an okay number of, uh, Hilda Taurus. It's, it's not too di different from, like, TTF, at least, in that sense. But there's gonna be at least four chances at them. There's two here, there's one in the other room, then two in the other, so maybe five. Yeah, orange, I just think spaceship. I don't think of them for any other hunt. Technically, they have things like gibbles, but again, you're not gonna see those in RT. Okay. 
What nonsense is this boss gonna do? You teleporting nonsense jester. Hmm? Uh, we're not talking about episode 4, we're talking about RT. I, I guess to answer that question in context of what we're talking about, no, we wouldn't be playing Pod in episode 2. Yeah, Orange has like very niche runs. I see them like Mines episode 1, episode 4 in more of its entirety. At least you could get things like Slicer, Fnatic, and Semi-Abundance. Yeah, it's more about, like, who is the most RT value. I think I thought Viridian was the worst for a while, and then I realized there's actually a decent number of chances to get their rares. I think that brought it up a little in comparison. Like, I actually don't know if I would... I don't know if I would pick blue RT again over the other options. Like, it's decent for Jaya. But at the same time, I'm like... I don't know if I would want to give... I don't know if I really want to do Jaya Hunts over LMK. To be honest with you, if those are the choices. Because I, I think Viridian Seabed is actually fine. They they get robbed on Psycho 1 for no reason on Del Beater, but it's only a one of fun of anyway. If it's like that, if that's the only complaint in Seabed, I don't think it really matters. God hand. Congrats on hitting 180. Where's Heavenly Hand? That's true. Yeah, they just have like a big old wall and nothing. Like, they could get Sincesta, I guess, in Temple for people that really care about that. Just their other boss drops are just kind of bad. Like, there's no Chaos Sorcerer, so they're not getting Gurren. There's like barely any Del Saber, so that would be Daylight Scar. So if we're just talking for like a rare for rare, it's probably still not leading towards orange. I'm double checking if there's anything I forgot. Yeah, they don't get anything interesting from Geese, so that that whole area is wasted. There's no Gibbles. They get Gal Griffin Wing, which is okay. They get a Heaven Punisher from Del Beater, technically. Namba from Sinozel. But like nothing, nothing like super crazy. So what happened to the lights? So I might lean oh. might lean towards them being kind of on the weaker end. Just because like comparatively, like there's at least more mediocre drops I would accept from Viridian in comparison. Because they have the same drop rate as Psycho 1 versus Heaven Punisher. Blue, blue is pretty solid seabed. It's just, I think it makes more sense if you do the free bed reset to do blue ID because I think their seabed is probably the strongest. Oh, that was sick! I hit my freeze trap and hit the Del Saber. there. I think ID is interesting in the sense where it actually gets an okay amount of chances at Psycho Wand in the run. The trade-off being that the drop rate is just horrendous. There's no Del Depths for V501, but it does get Monkey King Bar. It's actually not bad. So their Seabed is not terrible. Their Temple is really good. Their Spaceship is whack. Through 
through me. I feel like my hand of rouge is not hitting properly. To learn to stand at a different position later. <laughs> the boss photon dropped me seriously. Well, I guess I gotta go back for that. Yeah, and it like Viridian actually gets quite a lot, surprisingly. Like, I, Morphos having Yunchang is kind of nice, so they match Blue ID with that. And I think I'd rather have Stink Frame from Dolum Darls over Blue ID. The difference being that, like, the Sinnoh Zells for Blue ID get uh, Zamba, where the big difference is. But I think if you include all of the enemies, the ability to get blue ID, soul banish, I think slightly outweighs the other IDs. Unless you really want a V501 and pink ID. So I think they're surprisingly mostly close. I would say the one... I would say Orange probably needs a little love. It has interesting uber drops because there's an okay amount of Hilda Tours. But man, it just... The area it's strongest in only having like a couple of chances compared to like the, you know, Blue ID getting like 20 million keys or like Viridian getting value in basically every area except for here. I don't know. I don't think it balances. like both versions of the song. I'm not sure which one I like more. I I do kind of like the retro feel of this one for it. I don't... Well, I guess I could do the box check. I, I don't care about the drops from the Sinnoh, but I think I care about the box check for yellow. It'll spawn on me. Yeah, I think I, I think I was not hitting the dragon properly, because my meter is pretty low. Normally I'm much closer to 70. And I have a magical little journey for the box check. I always fail at this rock. I hate this rock. Oh. Kind of expected him to get a little closer before he died, but we'll take that, I guess. <laughs> Watching the Fomar without the Vulcan. As a reminder for this boss, we all just hold still. We turn slightly to the right to hit with our cannon rouges if you have them. Otherwise, they think Frozen Shooter can at least still hit the boss. And uh, when they're doing the dive bombs, Allure should mess this boss up pretty heavily. This is the one where I just want to make sure. I don't want to assume anybody remembers how to do this boss. If you hold still and aim slightly to the right like I am, get a nice beefy hit here. This helps a lot if you're playing as a Hugh cast and you know you can do the giant sword swing on him. 
Yeah, that's good damage. So as long as I'm not the closest target, I basically need people to bait with their body so I can hit this target. I can hit him like this. So I could do a lot of damage to this boss. But if I get hit by a tornado, I can die really quickly. Leave me alone. I'm feeling really targeted by the boss, by the way. I almost killed the boss with just Bazooka. Out of here. Bazooka OP. Yeah, Can of Rouge legit shaves like whole minutes from the fight. You can even kill the boss before it has a chance to uh, do anything. Victory music. Now mid 83. I'll be building meter as we go through here. I'll have it by the end, because I don't plan on using hell. This is what we were talking about before, too. Like, if I had been using hell, I would not build enough meter to uh, get another mag blast. So I guess at really high level, I might be able to PB create to balance it out a bit more. Like, technically, I could remove that V502 for it. Yeah, the Rico boxes are a great way to build meter. They're just tanky enough. No. Oh, that was a big mistake. Ooh, especially if anybody donated too. That's bad. Wah! Yeah, that's a big wah moment. Oh, we got a Zamba. Congratulations, Tiggy. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. I still don't think I've had a Zamba drop. Just. I, I'll be real honest with you, I still don't think that has ever dropped for me on stream. Check the tapes. I'm pretty sure I've still not seen this item drop. It's like a 1 in 900, but it might as well as be Gal Griffin Wing. That thing is never dropping for me. I like that it took like almost two solid months of playing just to get a single Gal Griffin Wing. That was so sad. Like actually legit sad. One day, chat. We could put Zombo on the list of things that... I guess it technically dropped on stream, finally. I guess, allegedly, but not for my character. Yeah, I was like, it's not even terrible odds. That's the funny part. Like, it's, it's actually not that bad, but it just doesn't drop. <laughs> just like, man. Oh, man. Even when I'm doing, like, private box runs, I've not seen one drop. Kind of bad. Put a happy little freeze trap out. I'm assuming he's hit the ground right about now. That was such a good assumption. I felt it in my heart, Chad. Did you feel it? The call out was real. Like, mm -mm. anyway, we'll get our slightly. <laughs> oh, actually, no, we're not doing uh, Viridian. I was gonna say slightly more psycho one. I'm gonna spam freeze trap. I just need Gaboe near me. Okay, there we go. Leader. Uh, so I hit I hit 100 mag blast, but sadly not that useful. No invincibility. So here, in theory, I could switch to a hell handgun if I brought one. I did not. If it wasn't the event, I would have gladly held it, but I have too many weapons as is. Arguably, I can remove one of these for the sake of the run. Let's commit. Like the frozen shooter, I technically don't need in this run, I guess. I thought he would get stuck behind that pillar, to be honest. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed he managed to actually figure that out. Either that or he teleported and then hit me. Because I thought for sure he was just going to dummy walk into the pillar. Oh well. Not a big deal. Nice galatine. Your room. I was going to say, what hit percentage is on your galatine? Curious how much uh fun zone stuff you're having with Fomar.
Yeah, like, if I want to preserve how much uh, meter I have, like, I want it to stay at 99, I just use special attacks. 15 hit? Okay. Yeah, I still have mostly zeroed one, sadly. I'll chat briefly. I can't believe I ATP killed that Morphos. What a disgusting character. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think I should be able to do that, to be honest with you, but whatever. Fine. Two combo kill it. Right, we're gonna go into the room of disappointment. Is everybody ready, chat? Do you think it'll actually drop a weapon at all? Cast your vote, chat. Just think in your hearts. Will there actually ever be something useful in here? No. It's a good vote. Good vote and no. <laughs> Money and armor. Disappointing. I know it can drop weapons. I've seen it do it before. It just chooses not to. Like, in theory, we could get some interesting box drops. I just think seabed box drops are kind of bad, too, from what I remember. I don't remember any of them being exciting. It's not like jungle and temple, where there's, like, actual insanity drops happening. Congratulations, young blood, for Angel Harp. Any particular reason for Angel Harp, though? just the aesthetic of it. Oh my gosh, team. No, we're not waiting for this. That, no, that's, that's too long. We'll just do the boss fight legit. I, I don't want to wait like two minutes of charging. Oh, you just wanted it? That's fair. We'll just need to... Yeah, we'll need to be buffed. So he can so the force can Zalore in the sky for this boss. Please buff us. There we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna Heaven Striker off screen. So I'm gonna get some pot shots. Then I think uh Zalore in the sky should work, and then when it's targetable, I'm gonna switch it to Vulcan. So ideally I'm gonna get two hits on this, but it's not likely to happen. Let's see if it happens. I got two hits. out of here. I guess our party is strong enough that we don't need the buff. We are all very high level. I would not normally do this if I had anybody remotely in the 130 region. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the thing. Just remember, do not hit the boss until it looks around. I repeat, do not hit this boss until it looks around. You can debuff it, but please do not hit this boss while it's look before it looks around. I know there's a stream delay, that was like at least 10 seconds in advance. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh my, I was, I was spamming the sacrifice chat. I did not want to let that boss do anything. I'm like, get away from me. <laughs> it's like, get off me. I'm a bang, bang, boost. get away from me. I don't want to deal with you. That went decently fast. Oh yeah, mech guns are pretty sick. Plus, the, keep in mind the boss doesn't take bonus damage from attributes on phase two for the most part. So having like dark here doesn't really matter on that phase. It's just one of those annoying things where like slimes, the Sinozels, Gibbles, Murder Flowers, they don't care about your attributes. It's one of those hidden things that's very annoying. Where it's like, man, I wish I did damage. 
So we'll do one more into probably an endless yellow, and then we'll end with two TTFs. How's that? I think that's fair. Oh wait, we got quest variety. for episode four. Now if it was like gonna say Tiggy, if you leave, no promises. That'll be up to chat if they let you back in. But one last RT before we do some endless. Let me back in to you threatening people. Yeah, we'll wait a minute or so. Yeah, I haven't been playing too many Force into RT, sadly. I, w I should probably just put it on one of my Phonumens full time, especially for a uh, form boss with Nidra. I just end up not doing it due to needing to hold so many items for anniversary. Maybe post anniversary I'll do it. That way I can hold like two spare items and still pick up an event item. being the force in RT. I'm gonna say bring in Big Bazooka. It's much more fun, I, I promise you. Big Bazooka go boom. Honestly, I think after the damage cancels, I don't even think we need a force anymore. Force is still decent, don't get me wrong, but man. I still think like Raw Mario Triple Raw Cast is the, is the best combo. <laughs>
I guess with the force, it means you don't need to mag blast chain. I guess that's what the difference is. But you lose out on a lot of damage on things like Gal Griffin, potentially. So having four bazookas is kind of OP. The, oh, the bazooka life is real. Yeah, we'll do one of these, then we'll do an endless one, and then maybe an, uh, and maybe a TTF for two. I don't want to go super late, because I do have uh, super early work tomorrow, which I don't look forward to in the slightest. I just know I'm not going to be able to fall asleep. They, they can set my work time to 6 a.m. I'm not going to fall asleep like right this minute. It's too early. I'm going to be super cranky. I feel Thursday. So probably no bonus stream Thursday. This. check time. I don't even come to kill enemies. I, I look for the boxes. Okay, nothing of interest. That's a shame. Believe it or not, I've gotten almost half of my barrier and amplifier combinations on yellow ID, and most of them were in RT specifically. I did get a decent number of, uh, I think it was Gafoe from Pink CCA. So I'm not gonna say, like, everything there. Nice flow and sword. Unique to yellow ID. Cheetah 1977. There you go. Go towards that super book of katana or whatever. Wow, that is silly good damage. thinking about it. Did I actually get an Excal during the event? I think somebody else did at our group, but I don't think I physically did. Hmm. I guess we'll have to fix that. <laughs> we'll continue to go for Excal slash Heaven Strikers. And if I go for Excal via Endless Episode 1, I'm okay with that. I like that quest a lot. It's very fast-paced. It is super, super, super good for raw cast. It's not bad for hunters, but man oh man does it favor uh, the ability to trap and charge arm everything. else moved up, never mind, let me move back, because I'm like, somebody has to hit the back row, people. I usually play the front most, but I guess I could play back here. I very rarely take the back position. I like to freeze the hilda tours normally. time. I'm not gonna lie. When it goes the da 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 If I heard that out of context, I actually legit would have thought that was a Batman song. <laughs> Just... Like, we joke about Batman on stream, I actually legitimately would have believed you if it was Batman. I see Minus X does not have a Cannon Rouge. We have to get Minus X a Cannon Rouge at some point. It is absolutely worth the investment and not worth using Spread Needle on this boss. Big damage difference. Oops. Still works. 
Yeah, I'd like to aim here and then just do a normal shot. Because if it does target me... Oh yeah, you should definitely bring it. It's, it's useful in like literally every boss fight. It's even useful in the uh, gold dragon. Just look how much damage we're doing to this boss right now. It might actually die as it beaches. That's how much damage we've dealt to it so far. Yeah, it's dead here. I want to one day have the dream run against this worm boss where we kill it before it ever goes underwater. But it requires the boss to not glitch amongst other things. And then obviously super good cannon rouge. Batman Dungeon Crawler, where he discombobulates a Minotaur, maybe. He's got that anti-Minotaur spray, he'll be fun. Ah, uh, fishing for the invincibility trigger with Gal Griffin Way. Why did I move? Damn, I was on the perfect spot. This sucks. Alright, so the force is way too far over. Play the lineup Olympics. You have to stand on this specific square. It's two squares to the left of the big strip. And you'll always line up there. That way you don't need to move. It saves time. And it's very dumb, too, having competitions who can get the closest straight line without moving into there. Gotta compete in the lineup Olympics. Yeah, I don't think you can pipe in this quest. You can't do it in TTF either. Yeah, 100%. If you ever go to episode 2 at all for bosses, make sure that should be like a mandatory pickup. Sorry, it's a TTF. I meant uh, Terrell's Ego. Yeah, there's just some quests you just arbitrarily can't tell if I've been. And obviously something like Beyond the Horizon as well, but that, that one makes more sense. Terrell's Ego not having it is kind of messed up, to be honest with you. I remember defeating Dragon and going, oops, can't get my stuff. Get wrecked. I guess they wanted to avoid for time attacks or something. I don't know what the thought process was in the creation of the quest. I was gonna say, my version of trap shooting, I, I put a freeze trap down, I shoot the enemy, bazooka detonates my freeze trap. Win-win chat. Listen, when you become one with the bazooka, you use it all the time. Never leave home without it. Oh, fire trap works there? I don't think I've ever tried doing that before. I guess that makes sense. I usually just shoot it quickly with the bazooka since I usually always have it out, but that's good to know, I guess. You know we've had to panic kunai a couple times into it. Yeah, there's... I'm like, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It, I usually, I, it makes sense, because Fire Trap can hit some very weird things that other weapons can. I guess it makes sense. Oh, I don't have invincibility. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm going to choose to charge Vulcan here, because I think this should just absolutely delete this boss. It did. I'm going to stand still to take more damage. Hell yeah. Now I'm at 70 meter. See what I mean, chat? I said before I felt like I wasn't doing enough damage. Now I just needed to get hit in the face. That was the missing component. Now I'm back up to 70 meter. That's a perfect spot to be for the end of Seabed. If I wanted to Hell Weapon here, I guess I could. Oh well. 
So I think it's definitely ATP, at least for the beginning, maybe halfway in could switch to Hell. But we're, it could just be that everybody's not using Hell, except for maybe Murphy, which would also explain it. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just... Yeah, there we go, I'm feeling Murphy at it. I'll speed things up a little. Boom, boom. Bad damage wise. <laughs> you know what I've never done on RT? The side quest mini game where you collect orbs, or <laughs> whatever it is. But it also requires you doing tower, which is a uh, choice, especially on yellow or blue ID. Wait, is there even an ID you would ever want to do tower for the full clear? Oh, hold on. I'm thinking about it. I don't think so, right? Yeah. It's kind of messed up when you think about it. Because I was just thinking to myself, it's purple, red, and white, right, for V502? Unless you did orange for tower, maybe? I don't remember how many gimbals are there. Maybe that's the secret to orange ID. You have to play tower to make it worth it. I mean, technically, Gibbles is really good drop rate for everything in orange. Yeah, I think one day, not today, but probably Friday, we'll have a um, exploration with orange ID to take advantage of Uber hunts, because they should be way more consistent than anything Bill Lily gives. It'll be a nice comparison, I guess. Plus the difference is that if you're doing Psycho 1 and just getting vices, Orange ID at least has other drops. Eventually. Still know if the enemies in Tower would think up for how awkward it would be to do Orange RT. That I definitely want to just sit there and analyze. Oh, we should definitely pop these boxes. There's there's no reason not to, especially since they could have weapons, which they did there. Unfortunately, the weapons were terrible, but they at least have a percent chance of getting it in this 50 hit. You know, ideally, we want 95s, but nobody's going to say no to like a 65 hit hell gun or anything either. going that way. I'll let the squad go that way. More important, we have to clear the rest of the quest. Pretty chills as remote battery. Kind of fits what we're doing, I guess. Low pressure murdering of the wildlife. Even sounds a little aquatic. Of course, it could just be the sea of blood from the endless creatures we murder on the way there, but you know, kind of fits. It did actually drop a caliber just then. Wow. No hit percentage though. Disappointing. Yeah, what is this song called specifically? Rainbow Druce. E R U S E. Like return. Alright, so between two people with Bazooka, one of us should always be able to hit Gal Griffin. And we should rack up a million damage. And again, hot shots from Frozen Shooter Special are at least decent. They're not like nowhere near as game changing as the Cannon Rouge, but it does add up. They got a good shot on them. Uh, just want to make sure not to be first. There we go. Look at the damage being dealt already. Terry. Stop targeting me, this is ridiculous. 
I think I'm invincible, right? Already dead. Get outplayed. Hey, Griffin. That's the power of Ranger. <laughs> like, what are... Like, honestly, aside from one Dark Blow swing, like, Hunters really just can't compete with how BS this is. Like, just imagine, three people with Cannon Rouge. It would have died before it even did the dive bomb. 100%. Also, we should definitely check the boxes here. For weapon. Okay, two boxes open. I try to hit the one with the items. I always forget which one it is. I just know it's behind me somewhere. Armors are not worth it. There we go. That worked. That was a very well timed Rebarda. there. I was like, where did it go? <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm not dealing with that room. Might as well just kill these for badge checks. This song's pretty good. open those boxes. Since I'm pretty high damage, I guess I should face tank this enemy. Yes. Little pause trick into trap action. I almost managed to trap shoot it. He hit me just as I was deploying. Almost. The heart, the heart and the attempt was there. He's like just slightly too high in the air. That sucks. Fortunate. I'll count to five next time. You unarm me? Well, I'm just gonna kick you to death. <laughs> Jerk. Right, <laughs> chat? Like, you know what? You unarm me? That's fine. Rock has melee combo time. Let's go. Power if shifty is real. is actually trolling me right now. Could I not turn because he was too close to me? That's messed up. <laughs> I was holding left and he just he wasn't turning. So sad. Oh well. Alright, now he should be here because last time he hit me through the wall. You're not getting me this time, idiot. Jeez. Got a bronze badge from the recon. I guess that's kind of worth it. It does make RT a bit more valuable, but there are still really big gaps in the quest still. Speaking of gaps. I'm gonna leave the team behind. Don't worry about my shift. Uh, I, I don't plan on doing damage. Oh, you're not killing the Morphos? Don't we want to kill Morphos? Let's find out. Now I'm gonna pause to look at um used to people doing it. Um, I guess it's not worth it for them. Okay. Just wanted to check. Because Morphos tends to have, like, good, good things on the other IDs, but I guess Yellow ID specifically doesn't. That's unfortunate. 
anyway, into the secret room we go. Oh, somebody already beat me into the secret room. Full of disappointment as usual. Ooh, almost killed. You probably assist with some of these. There we go. Got him. Hated. Stupid robot. You're not outsmarting this one. Listen, I play myself, Sinnoh, so I don't need you. I don't need you trying to ambush me and make me look foolish. Uh, so I'm at 100. So we only need two people. Everybody else can just donate. Alright, I'm using twins. You figure it out. should be strong enough. So hopefully we can skip that early cycle with a little bit of damage. So as I said before, if you have a Heaven Striker, please try to do a couple shots to uh, Yeah, that's fine. 65 is still pretty good, honestly. So we're gonna go for triple, triple Heaven Striker, then if you have a Charge Vulcan or a really good mech gun, then you pop it out for boss damage. If you don't have it, just continue to use Heaven Striker. Because this is a lot of damage. Every sacrifice here is potentially doing like 2k. But we could chip this boss out big time before it comes down. It's a big time saver. There we go. So we just skipped like 15 or 16 seconds, which almost makes up for the mag last time. But more importantly, we're also going to save time here. As long as we don't do too many animations, I think two is enough. Yeah, I was going to say, I think two is enough for the most part. When you have, like, really strong characters, you don't need a big mag blast. But it needs to be at least two, because I think only one mag blast, I don't think makes enough of a difference. But who knows? Maybe it does if you've got a weird comp like Raw Marl, you cast Raw Cast or something. Wait a little bit, wait a little bit, and delete. Yeah, you don't get to move anymore, Olga Flow. Goodbye. <laughs> the damage is real. But it's like night and day difference how much easier it is. This helps kind of cover characters without like the strongest of stats, but... Pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna level up. I mean, I die instantly to Tornado, so I don't think my HP matters anymore. I guess this is just bonus survivability versus Baran's. Nice level up. Ooh, extra accuracy? That actually matters. Might free me up. Plus some item max. 221 versus 224. If I get another Centurion, I can get rid of something again. Yeah, <laughs> that damage boost is something. Okay, so we'll do one yellow ID endless, because that quest is super good. Hopefully we'll get a nice Holy Ray or something out of it. It's one of those ones where I'm like, oh, if only it just rolled better, I would be using it. I think it even gets Heavenly HP on Bolt Up, if I remember. Yellow ID gets like the silliest of drops. You're like, really? Why do they get that? And you're like, oh no, privilege? <laughs> Just a question mark. <laughs> Maybe. I didn't stop to think if the changes helped Endless or not with the uh, changing of what is found where for V101 versus X Cal. Minus X is hopping out. We're gonna do one of these into a TTF. Maybe two TTFs. That'll be my limit, though, for sure. 
Pause the music. Reload. Yeah, we definitely want to bring in the Bazooka. I definitely want to cast here, because it's super good. Let's talk about all the dumb items Yellow ID gets on this quest, just so people understand. So you can't get Hilda Tour. You can get red handguns and red sabers, and a Jito 1975. So, pretty good if you remove Hilda Tour. Heaven Punisher, you could get it from Crimson Assassin. If you see a rare Lily, you get Sange. You get red swords from Melqueek. You get Caduceus from Slimes. You get a Heart of Item from Pan Arms. You get Holy Ray. Yeah. Then Baran's is V101. You can technically get Mazer Beam now if you're curious. Sinnoh Red is lame to Argent. Oh, it's Stink Shield for yellow. I'm sorry, it's red ID that is heavenly HP. Then for Ruins, it can get Guardiana from Dark Gunner. It can get Bringer's Right Arm, which is okay for new players. Indie Belra is Heavenly Arms. It can Psycho One from Volk slash Volk Claw. It's Spread Needle from Merlin. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Pretty much every area has at least three items of value. Some of them are worth quite a bit more. Which I cannot say the same for other IDs, in particular Pink ID. Please buff Pink ID. Pink ID drops are so bad in Episode 1. It's at, like, legit unplayable in Episode 1. It's so bad. Okay, do we have a fourth person willing to hop in for one of those many items we just discussed? Sort a little. Probably restock healing items. How far are we from max stats? Not that far, I don't think. If I get another Centurion, he could wear it and cap his ATP and his defense, and possibly his evade. My moons are there, good, good. I mean, I'm okay with doing it with three people, I just prefer if people just want, like, ultra XP. This quest is also really good for badges, because there's just so many enemies to kill. There we go. Remo hopped in. Thank you, Remo. The only thing we have to be careful about are the Darkbringer rooms. The one that looks like Fall's room, just remember to turn around and kill that Deathbringer. That's probably the only one where it, like, super matters. Otherwise, I'll try to point out when we're going to get trap restores. Oh man, three casts and a, and a FOMAR? We are ready for episode one. <laughs> Go ahead, take us to forest, I dare you. Avoid healing. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's gonna be a big problem here. Something tells me. Things have to hit us for healing to be relevant. Damn, I sniped that with the shotgun. I can't believe that hit. Oh, Sinnoh blue, Sinnoh reds. Mind me, just helping delete things. Out of here. Missed. My heart was there, my aim was not. Just this wave clear. So dumb. Void taking damage. Oh, that's gonna be a bit hard, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of annoying. We have a lot of casts. We'll see. See if we can get a spread needle. Getting a good spread needle would be nice. I know people are looking for those. Hey, speaking of dark gunners, having stuff that we'd possibly be interested in. I can't believe we also have like a dark gunner drop. On that very silly. It's gonna be like a delay, and then they'll spawn in. I'm, I'm gonna just wait for them. Normally it doesn't take this long. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Figured it out eventually. The freeze trap. Oh, we took damage. Rip. Uh, Berserk also counts towards that. Avoid healing. Well, I don't think that's gonna matter here. Probably wanna do one freeze trap here. So we need to purposely fail some objectives, because I don't think it makes sense to do yellow ID falls. So that's good. That's out of the way. But if we want to get extra money, we could try to do some challenges. If it says don't use charge shot though, I'm failing that challenge room. Unless it's like forest, then I'm willing to humor you. But that's about it. Yeah, 
avoid taking damage in forest. Uh, I think this is a room without Hilda Taurus. It might be doable. Hilda Taurus landing on somebody is like the dumbest way to lose the challenge. I've lost it before that way a couple times. And the room clear is real. And Charge Arm is so strong in this quest. And the best part, Chad, is you, there's also boxes in every single area, so you could do box checks while you're doing this quest. So sick. Wait, healing? Okay. On spread needle. So far, no trap resets, but that's fine. We don't necessarily always need it. Yeah, rooms where we could just kind of do this to them, like, it's just so disgusting. On my screen, he finished the slice, and then he froze. That was kind of rude. I think Chad deserved that freeze trap. Okay, now we can heal if you want. Oh, wait, never mind, there's a dark flow out. Careful. Avoid death, and we're immune to damage? Oh my gosh. So remember, that sparkle means they can't hit you at all. What a beautiful thing, chat. Now it's just unfair. Now the hunter's gonna have fun, right? You're like, oh, okay. I got it for at least two waves. That's all that matters. Damn, it lasted the entire room. That was sick. Avoid using the setup. I'll humor you. We're invincible. I'll humor you. <laughs> I'll build meter, I guess. Not that I think I'll get it without PB Create. This quest also is fantastic for PB Create. So I think if we're gonna do some serious runs, I'll actually sub out at least two units to have two PP creates. Being able to hit like Worm Boss with like level 50 shift to D band is kind of insane. Void healing, okay. Just be careful of the Hilda Tours. If you go to extreme corners of the room, it can't hit you. But I know they pop up in this room, so you might get cheesed. I think I'm in a safe spot. Avoid death and forest. Oh. We call that the freebie. So up next is going to be the boss. So I've used about half my freeze traps. I haven't seen a room that restores them yet in the cycle. So it looks like we're probably going to get at least two, I would assume, by the end of the run. Because we got a lot of the non-ones out of the way early. The worst is when you get it in the first room. Then you know you have like a one in three of getting it later. Uh, let's let's equip Spread Needle with the assumption that it is full up, not full up. Okay, that's fine. Avoid healing. Okay. I don't plan on healing in this fight. And Amruja Clock time. It targeted me, you fool. <laughs> right, chat? You foolish fool. So I think this is a Holy Ray. I'm not going to say no to this. Like, this is a real drop, in theory. Sadly, nothing of interest dropped. Come on, Healing Circle. Ooh, the worst room. This room is really tricky because there are Dark Bringers behind you. When in doubt, Ruins will put something behind you. And it is super rude when it happens. This room is... Probably one of the, the worst in the, the bunch that you could roll. I prefer the Falls room for sure. This one I hate because there's Dark Gunners, and there's a Chaos Springer, and there's annoying enemies. On the plus side, we're gonna get a couple bulk wall chances for Psycho 1. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the Ruins boxes, because it is Ruins too, so they should be decent. Right, we're just gonna, we're gonna blast everything from here. Choose not to care. I like to play what I call tower defense here, where all I do is stand up on the upper platform. That's going the wrong way if they're looking for the enemy. Uh, there's our chance at a Psycho one. Mumble Claw. Aw, no Psycho one. Yeah, that room is pretty difficult. Void taking damage. Um. We're Psycho 1 chances. 
I mean, I'm not gonna say no to that, right, chat? Goodbye, Bull Claw. 1200? Like a truck. Practically hitting him with my ATP. <laughs> Poor Sorcerer. It's gonna spawn in, and there's just like four angry party members looking for him. Just actually GG. Okay, let's freeze the Indie Belra. And I'm just gonna start frozen shootering once I hit the real leader. I always make sure to shoot the leader first with a real shot. Make sure it stuns for the rest of the party. Yeah, we're just gonna be frozen shootering here. Oh, Guardiana, nice. Finally, a room that should reset our traps. Holy, we went way too long without getting one. Pop these boxes while I wait. I think it's where the red door is. Here, the red player. Or is that on the other side? It might be on the other side, actually. It's one of the doors. I'll put it that way. I forget which is which. Might be... Oh, no, it's... Oh. Oh, it's over there. I'm sorry. I was like, I know it's in here somewhere. Where is it? My bad. I thought it was at an actual door. But I will take those, like, 12 free straps back. That's huge. Now we know we can spam them, right? Because we have six, six rooms left and one of them's a boss floor, so we can average about four traps every floor between all of us. So this is just going to be, like, an absolute room shutdown. There's nothing they can do. We have so many freeze traps. This is gonna be nasty. Every time we use even slightly less than four, we just make positive gains. I mean, look at this shutdown. What a beautiful quest. We're averaging 313 XP a second, so the XP here is also super good with this party. Good healing? Okay, well, they're... <laughs> They're gonna have to hit me through freeze. Oh, there's a Heaven Punisher chance. Yeah, we want to see some rare enemies here. Oh, that's right. We can't see the rare enemies in this quest. Oh, well, that's a shame, actually. Forgot about that for a second. Got excited. Like that. Nah. Uh, I'm gonna put a fire trap down. So many freeze traps. <laughs> what can they even do? 50 hit Disca? Damn it, it sucks. Avoid taking damage and I'm immune at the start of the match. Okay. Man, this quest is so fun. It, it just becomes, like, progressively more fun with more challenge weapons. But I think it's fine enough with, like, basic charge arm and stuff like that. Yeah, like... Now you get to enjoy yourself with, like, Immortal Sword Swings. Gold Badge and Photon Drop. What a series of drops. Okay, instead of Void Damage, so I'm gonna put down a Freeze Trap. Put them in the no-go zone. Put another Freeze Trap down, shoot the Freeze Trap. Pick up my many, many badges. I think that was a lame to Arjun chance. Which I guess kind of improves Endless, because there's I think there's more Sinnoh Reds than there are Varans. So I guess technically it got a buff. Interesting. Oh, uh we're gonna get our freeze traps back again. So literally just spam them as much as you want. So we're gonna basically make a little detour to the left. There's gonna be a sorcerer that ambushes the player once we kill this. Went for me. You're a fool, sorcerer. Yeah, just just waste them all. Basically, where the door is that normally goes to the falls will have the uh healing circle. But by all means, just go actually wild. I'm literally just gonna walk and deploy. <laughs> There's there is no timing on my part. Just all oops, all freeze traps. Go ahead, walk into them. Fool. I'm gonna go restock now. There's only two floors left that require traps, so I'm absolutely restocking here. This next floor is going to be just nothing but spam. Avoid death and forest. Oh man, I don't even need freeze traps for this area. But I'm going to use them anyway, because I'm a monster. 
<laughs> right, chat? There's still a very strong possibility we're gonna get Volt off, so I will probably switch to Spread Needle. anything. I still have 13 freeze traps left. I've been throwing them down constantly. Holy. Actually rigged. Avoid death. This is going to be an interesting place. Sure it would be a shame if they were just frozen for all eternity. You're a shock. That's not what I want to see. Hey, how did my freeze trap miss? Oh, I got cheated. I got cheated. I hit like his front row of people, but not him. I mean, I guess I'll take a cure shock. Need to get rid of something though. Probably telepipes. I don't need them right now. Most of his runs, he can't use them anyway. Probably for the best to get rid of them. So I will assume that it'll be Vault Op. If it's Dragon Boss, GG to Dragon Boss. Oh, it's GG to Dragon Boss. What a fool. Right, chat? What a, what a foolish fool. Well, it's gonna be Oops All Dark Flow slash Cannon or whatever. So done. See, this boss is really great for building meter for the rest of the run. So he's like a great first boss to fight. Just because you will probably build 10 to 11 meter. Like, even I hit max. But sadly, we got him too late in the run to matter. About to get dumped. Bonk. So the timer still ticks, unfortunately, and the boxes are kind of split. Well, we'll probably do one more loop. That was so fast, honestly. We still have like over 20 minutes of time remaining, too. Silly. So we'll pop some boxes, and then I'll probably step through them. It's the boss drop. If you need to restock, by all means. I put away that cure shock. Actually, like a decent pickup. We could do better. When we're done, we're gonna go to that little golden shiny warp right next to the shop. In the disco world I go. So long world. I belong to disco now. Taking damage. Uh <laughs> that that was the resounding no from the group. They're like, oh, were you trying something? How about no? Oh, somebody took damage rip. Oh well, it doesn't matter in the long run. We'll get an okay amount of money back. We're at 20,000 points already. But the points directly translate to Mesetta, which is also nice. That helps pay for the, the Oops All Rangers. Avoid using Mesetta. Got bad news for you, team. I don't know how hard I'm going to try on this one. I prefer just not to get hit. I guess I could try to do it, I guess. Put down a fire trap to kill the slime spawn near me. This room's not bad for it, I guess. <laughs> Avoid death and farce while we're immortal. Wow. Talk about challenge rooms that are anything but that. It'd be more challenging to die, I think, in this room. They're like literally AFK to die. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna pop boxes, because remember, those could be photon drops or other nonsense too. Avoid death. 
Oh, nice. We know it's this room. So this room, we could just go trap crazy. Since we're getting a reset. Okay, trap crazy time. No plans. I'm just throwing them as soon as I can. They freeze, they freeze. One enemy that spawned for me. Yeah, with a force here is alluring everything and then Gafoe stacking. Like there is there is nothing this area can do. Honestly. So much damage as a group. With the Fomar whipping out the Galatine and just deleting people is funny. Void death. I know that should be doable. I mean it is caves, so like we could get cheese by Lily, but fine. Oh, I'm gonna put fire trap down. Goodbye, Mr. Slime. That's the done team. We are getting so much time back on the timer. We're using the setup. Man, that one sucks. See, this is where I want, like, a Berserk weapon. <laughs> Not because I want to use it in normal runs, but on Endless, when I have this, if I had, like, Berserk Needle or Berserk Shot, you bet I would be spamming it on certain characters. Now, I need a Berserk Arm at some point. Hit. Just for Endless. use avoiding the set of hats. And I'll still go for it for the team. I'll, I'll take a couple of second time loss to give the team more points. going all out to tell them at the battle theme. There's 16 traps for essentially 10 re remaining. Wait, death? Oh no. Forest, no! This is the freest challenge! Run, forest enemies, run! Oh man. Yeah, ideally we're gonna get um, worm boss every time. Since I'm player one, I'll keep spread needle out. Once that happens, I could just perma cannon rouge. Okay, well, dragon's fine. At least we build meter. We're at twenty six thousand return Masetta, so I'm only gonna lose about twenty k so far for the quest. It's not terrible. Given how many charge off shots I've been using, I'll take that. Oh, this poor dragon. Let's build a million meter on him. avoid using the setup. I feel a little targeted. I mean, I'm at 67 meter. In theory, I could get enough. I probably should have grabbed the PB create earlier. Probably would have been at, like, 80 meter right now. 
not 85. Really too strong. Come on, Crimson Assassin, drop your Heaven Punisher. Damn. Wait, another avoid using the setup? Jeez. Rude. Oh, at least on the plus side. I know if I'm in this corner, I won't get killed at board. Taking damage. No, not in. Oh, this is the worst challenge for that. No, I have to fight this thing. Then the Darkbringers with no damage challenge. Thankfully, we have invincibility. This challenge is normally super obnoxious. Pretty much an auto fail every time I come here. I don't really want to be in the middle of the room over here. I don't like what spawns here. I'm going to leave a freeze trap for them, though. Cooking plate. I guess I could collect that. Gel saber. I know you're here. Oh, did you see that frozen shooter shot? And deny them. Hell yeah. Down in my face. Oh, rip. No damage. Can I get rid of it a couple of that item? Oh, I don't need that. Um, I should probably make the boxes. Chat lift boxes behind Rip. Oh well. Rest in peace, boxer. Avoid using Masetta again. Wow. The hard target is real. That's like 90% of my life. Uh, I'm gonna freeze trap into hopefully 100 meter. We'll see what happens. Getting close. 92 is not that far off. Five. Another player. Six. Seven. Another player. I need one more floor. Another <laughs> way you see with Theta? I feel like, game, please, there's other challenges, I promise you. I just got Mag Blast. We, we could do a group Mag Blast if you want after this. We should have enough to donate. Because it forced us to fight dragons, so there's no way people don't have 30 meter after that, unless they're being ultra goofy. There we go. donate. So even if it no Masetta challenges us, it's over. Or if this is Vault Up or Worm Boss, they're getting destroyed. It doesn't matter. This will be a fast boss later. At least we get to enjoy it for like four areas. But you could see like if we had PB Create, getting it like two or three floors earlier. So you have to think, we're gonna be in here for like eight, nine minutes. That's a lot of chances for PB increase the tick, especially if you have two of them. Which is very easy with raw cast. That's why I think I might actually legit buy PB Increase. Just because I do like Endless. And that kind of makes a big difference on when you can Mag Blast. So now all my shots are basically as strong as I'm using Charge Attack. The Hue Cast Sword is basically Insta Delete. Avoid Death. Okay. At this point, there's only a few areas left, so I'm going to be using traps a bit more aggressively. 
going to say, yeah, the Vulcan on Fomar must feel so good right now. You're like, hold on. It's like I'm secretly switched into Ranger mid-run. Oh my gosh, they're taking so much damage. This is so bad for them. Bonk. Holy, we're 28 minutes. I'm shaking my... How are we getting so much more time still? Holy. I was going to say, th this is one of the strongest showings so far of Endless. The fact that we're almost back up to 30 minutes is kind of insane. Like, we've been hitting almost every challenge. Kind of crazy. That enemy is vibrating on me aggressively. I don't appreciate it. And the sad part is if... Yeah, at this point, if they get gelined and we have a no damage challenge, I don't think they can hurt us. Our D-band is so high. Right, chat? Like, it's, like, legit so high. I don't think they can hit us. Because, like, Hugh Cast already is basically invincible to them with Red Ring. Let alone, like, this character with 2,000 defense. There's no way normal enemies are hurting us outside of set damage or elements. I'm freezing him. Get out of here. Regen some HP by standing still. So we might just naturally be immune to forest at this point. Possibly caves. And then with Jelen, I think we're immune to every location. We're just actually stomping them. Oh, I'm so lucky that wasn't a vault up. I made a mistake. I didn't swap weapons. I'm gonna get 35,000 back and only lose 12k. Oh boy. How much damage are we doing a shot? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no, we're in boss run. There's so much damage. There's so much damage. No, that was like 300 more a shot per hit. Oh no. Poor worm boss. Imagine this in TTF, I know. Could you imagine? Holy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of addicted. I almost want to go again. I'm in 30 minutes. We ended with 30 minutes on the clock, chat. I'm gonna leave it to you. Do we continue another loop or just TTF? <laughs> Step one, get 81 shift to D to open TTF. I mean, you could. It's very boring, but you could do it. Holy. I'll, I'll put it on chat's call. Honestly, that quest is so silly. Double checking if the shop updated. I mean, we'll. Okay, then we'll do one more and then we'll do uh, TTF. I'm just curious. <laughs> I mean, we have so much time left on the clock. Lap three. At least we're getting a lot of uber checks in, as a reminder. I think every area has an uber except for forest? When using the setup, sure. I'm gonna freeze trap though. Yeah, definitely with the power of Fomar. We're seeing the strength of Fomar. He finally gets to receive the almighty buff. And then he's hitting as hard as, like, Rangers or even Hugh Cast would have been pre-buff. Hellsaver's left arm. Not as exciting. Alright, we're definitely putting a happy little freeze trap down. It's gonna tell the sorcerer no. I guess I'll refuse the Mesetta to build meter. Yeah, I guess I could just choose to always power attack to build meter. Also, I forgot to PB create. I'm bad. Yeah, so I, I just know when I'm in this room, I immediately hold backwards on the controller and freeze trap. It works every time, for future reference. On the plus side, we also know that we're going to get our freeze traps back, so I'm absolutely spamming them. Go ahead. Nice try, Sorcerer. I'm already here. We're doing the oops all freeze trap strategy. <laughs> what is the enemy going to do about this? Nothing. Freeze eternally. Cool. No escape for you. 
Why did they go backwards there? What? <laughs> what was that Merlin? Why did the Merlin go left and backwards? It, see, if I was aiming a sniper shot, that actually would have dodged me. Because that just actually made no sense to me. What madness. Not a single player was in that direction. Boy taking damage, sure. I got gold badged. Oh, that's not what I want. Yeah, this... I'm glad we eventually did one of the quests that I'd like to do. In terms of, like, getting high numbers of kills. The fact that we're getting, like, 300 plus XP, we don't need to leave lobby. So good. Yeah, next time I'll 100% uh, PB create. Although this will be the last lab, no matter what. It does save a lot of time, especially when you don't need cure units. When your team is just so strong, it just doesn't matter. Like, yeah. Wait, using Meseta again? Joke's on the game. Oh, they only partially spawned for me, that's sad. Uh, I'm gonna say no to this room. I meleeed. So much meter gain. Well, that was a good delay on that shot that punished them super hard. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're playing Delita in the Bell Room. Can you live with 4 HP? That's actually unlucky. And if we just had like 10 more ATP, that would have killed. Nice, another room where we get our traps back. Okay. Alright, chat. Okay. I'm not gonna say no. Listen. The more we could go freeze trap wild, the better. So I don't mind having no resets for like the next 12 floors. That's fine. I'd probably average one freeze trap or room if I need to. You have to think of it this way. There's two boss rooms. There's 15 floors left, so only 13 floors matter. Forest, you don't even use it on at all. 84 seconds added. Wow. We're still, even with the time reduction, we're still above 30 minutes. Disgusting. And like a room like this, I don't even think I'd freeze trap unless it's a Del Saber. Uh, like now, now I'll freeze trap. Like that makes sense. We could collectively say no to that room as a group. We're like, no, no, no. Nice try, though. <laughs> I see what you're trying to sell me, room. I'm not buying. Uh, wait a little bit, then put the freeze trap down for maximum speed. The bronze badge. I'm like, I'll turn and I'll find you eventually. Wait, uh, fuck that. Notice my video goes weird when YouTube pauses the music. Why is that? YouTube actually trolling. Uh, as long as I stun lock the Nano Dragon here, it should be fine. Yeah, they're not- they're physically not able to hurt me. Already. 1584, 1581. And even without Jelen, these creatures literally can't hurt me. And I'm not at max defense either. That's actually gross. Rock has OP. Avoid taking damage. Uh, um, something tells me I will pass this challenge as long as I'm defend. <laughs> right, chat? Something tells me. Yeah, see, they just bonk on me. That's so sad. As long as we just kill the dragons, that's fun. This is just a free challenge. Oh, I got hit for 20. Man, that guy is slightly better ATP than the other one. That's so sad. But hey, that means if we get the super buff, then that also doesn't matter. I wonder if I get like 30 or 40 more defense, if that would also stop him from hurting me. Yeah, my bad. I thought I was immune because the other guys literally couldn't hurt me. Oh, well. Void, uh, yeah, I could put a freeze draft in here or something. I'm gonna put a fire trap where I saw the other thing spawn. For that. So if this is Dragon Boss, we are 100% getting this, the Milo Yola again. 
but as always, I should be swapping into Spread Needle. Also, we're still going positive in time. Cat, you're a monster. Alright, so I'm gonna go for the Sunlock, but if, if I see the Force take over, I'm letting the Force take over. I'm just gonna try to slow down the first monitor. I do see the Excal equip. Forgot to ask before we got in here. We'll find out, I guess. Fast. Switch to charge arm. TP ran out, no worries. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I'm like, I'm always expecting it, but now I know I can cannon rouge because it can't be the same boss twice. Boss <laughs> just got deleted. There we go. No victory for the boss. I'm at 61 meter, which is okay. Void taking damage. Um, should build okay meter here. I'm going mostly money neutral at least now. I like that we've almost gotten six or 700,000 total experience, by the way. And we've been consistently getting 300 plus XP a second. That's really high. It's not as high as like episode 4 solo new mop up, but that's. Really, really high for episode one. I mean, it's legit competing with TTF. The XP in this quest is very crazy. I even like leveling up in the quest itself, too. Just because, like, if you're a low-level low cast, for example, you just end up getting your traps back every time you level, which is very silly. So you make every room a trap reset room taking damage. Uh, we'll see. Uh, 14 traps for 8 rooms. That means I could probably afford to do at least two. I want to. Most things already seem handled. I guess in theory I can. Here it would be an okay change. Massacre of bullets in every direction. Void healing? Okay. I mean, I, I plan on freeze trapping, so. Rip the team. Yeah, that was a big old whoopsie. <laughs> By the team. Revives, I think, count as healing? Oh well. That claw. I was uh, trolling my aiming there. Definitely my bad as I just refuse to aim in its general direction. Can this stand still regen some HP? I guess I could put a freeze trap down. We only have six rooms left. I can average two traps a room still if I want to. And again, if any of them are forest, then it's better to go on the proactive side and burn it. Example, I'm just gonna freeze trap. I'm at 95 meter. I'm getting close. Even without Dragon Boss, I did manage to build it up. I just got it. Do a quick PB check for everybody. Is that 100 from Murphy? If you got it, I'll just use it. I got confused. I just saw the eye emote. Say using twins. That's fun. And rip the music. Let's do Nexus. There we go. Okay. Also, this this quest is hilarious as Fomoral. 
If she could just stack like triple uh, PP creates and wield a V101 and basically be fine. So she will always have Mag Blast. Her units are like so irrelevant, it's kind of funny. Oh, we just went below 30 minutes for the first time. Oh, well. It took the time penalty to slowly make us lose something. By these walls of enemy. Up in some boxes. I think episode two endless boxes are better. Just because, as I said before, like Temple and Seaside have really good boxes, both for pink and yellow, from what I remember. Even to some extent, blue ID. I want the power material for sure. Mm. healing, but we're invincible. Okay, challenge accepted. I've now gained money in this quest. All it took was just not using charge arm for, uh, like, ten floors. I evened up. Guess that works. Oh, I'm not near the brands. Good luck. Ouch. Ouch. A rare drop. I was hoping it was a uh, full rare, but it was not. Well, there is a healing circle in this room. I was thinking there was one more in mind. I guess I'll use it. There's not many rooms left, so it doesn't really matter if you miss it. I missed a silver badge. Oh, the silver badge isn't. Chat's already killing it for that time. Get that silver badge then. Don't mind me, just throwing freeze traps everywhere. Here, um. Enemies. Why can I not hit this claw? What, if, what is going on? Become targetable, please. Thank you. Holy. It was up in the air, untargetable. It was down in the air, untargetable. Getting hit by other players, untargetable. Controlled. time bonus anymore we're good we got 29 minutes left we think we get bonus points also for time remaining Fine. at this point i'm just gonna walk and beast trap everything so there's not gonna be another floor and why not I know it can't be the other boss, so I'm just cannon merging. Oh no, dragon, no! <laughs> right, chat, no! <laughs> we. S Some of us still have little mini buffs. Oh, dragon boss, no! <laughs> we did like 5k. Oh no, this is just rude. Every shot is at least a meter and a half. Kind of insane. Look at that. Two meter, two meter, two meter, two meter, one meter. Maybe more like 1.8 or something. Poor boss. Actually just got wrecked. Ah. I have enough time for one TTF. 
that I really need to go. That was fun, though. XP super solid. Okay. Reduce invincibility, reduce clear time, stricter penalties. Fine. We'll bail with 28 minutes on the clock. See, I actually made money on this quest. Not seeing that one coming. They're in 51,000. Nice. Nice. Money positive. Uh, so I'm going to switch into the character that I'm going to do ETF with, and that is it. Tiki eyeing the counter. That's all that. glad that I got to play a little bit of the other character. I guess if we don't have a strong ID for it, I could technically bring in my Rock Seal. Super matters. Have to do an ID check for who makes the game. In ID. Eventually a Viridian. The whole squad is moving forward. I think he's like, I want a spot. Anybody willing to give Tiggy a spa? I guess... Fee for TTF is one guild. Oh, that's up to you. Yeah, but no buffs. Um... Oh, remote is sitting out. Thank you, remote. So I guess with who is coming here... I guess we make it with... I guess Murphy makes with green ID? Or we could do the dream sky ID. I guess it doesn't really matter which. I'll do dances. You know what, we'll, we'll, we'll go for the dream. It is the special event, I guess. Yeah, green ID is not bad. It definitely, it definitely got nerfed with the uh, V101 change. I was gonna say, if we're really desperate, I can S red arm the team. <laughs> like, if somebody has the similar handgun, I have S reds. Together, we could defeat Falls. There we go. I was gonna say, the hit squad is here. Event shift a gun? Hell yeah. Can you imagine how game breaking that would be? Instead of S reds at like three, you just got like a even if it was just like fifteen, how game changing that would be for several characters. You bar getting picks. Alright, we're gonna throw confused traps down. So when in doubt, if you see a bunch of enemies, if you end up luring them, I will probably kill them with confused traps. Just because it is free uh, badge checks. But we'll be doing that. I'm definitely gonna go for slime duping in caves, because I don't I don't even care what the drop is, I just want slime dupes. I'll kill Lilies, because I think that one's a legit drop of Sange. Hmm. I don't think anything else. Yeah, that's about it. So I'll just need assistance once I'm done slime duping. If that room leading into the first lily, where normally you get surrounded by all the bombers or whatever they're called. I'll need help clearing that if, t if, if the team kills that, because walking into a lily room like that could be kind of rude. But I can clean the slimes up and the lilies in the first room. I can assist if the other room isn't done while I do a drive-by, and then I'll slime dupe in the final room. Alright, uh, Tiggy already killed it, so I'm going to start walking towards the exit. Just straight up. Yeah, see it? Maybe go to the left there. I think I actually need to go hard right here for it to correct itself. I saw that. I was going way too far left. Yeah, that was much closer. Get in trouble by 
reload the game. Uh, let's go for slime dupes. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Now I just need the slime to come to me. Uh, that also worked. Oh, uh, not there though. Oh, can't. No, that's slower. Hopefully I can slime dupe this. No, I can't. Yeah, it, don't don't pull him in the middle. I can't do anything if that happens. I can slime dupe really quickly by just spamming uh, fire traps, but I can't do it if it's in the middle. That's that's the only prerequisite. All right, so team can help me with the Balmers here. Okay, they help me with the Balmers. I can very quickly assist with this room, and then I gotta go. Feel free to kill the Nano Dragons. You have more than enough time. I'm gonna go slime dupe for real this time. As long as team kills this Lily, okay, we should be good. I get to do a helpful little freeze trap. I'm gonna run. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, go, go, go. They're waiting on Bomers, so I'm gonna do one, two, three. Spam my fire traps while making little baby steps forward. That way I can slime dupe. I got a rare slime. Ooh, rare slime's fun. I'm pulling them towards the door. Uh, team could kill this if they want. I don't have an easy way of killing him. I guess I could try to freeze trap him. I'm not sure which corner he came from. There we go. Oh, just money. I mean, it is like a lot of money. Oh. I was gonna say, is nobody assisting with the other one? Okay, we're good. So that's like 4K. So leave that there if people wanna get their 4K. Not bad. It's like a boss drop amount of cash for some reason. Go ahead and uh bazooka up. Nah, Jaya. Okay. Nice side of invincibility. Should level on this, which will be nice. We'll save me a tri -made. I'm gonna assist Tiggy on this one. Here you go, Tiggy. Make this thing perish. Here um. It was so fast. I don't even think the boss attacked other than the lasers. Oh no. He was too strong. I'm holding down and right to be midway towards the back. I'm gonna check to see what the boss dropped. Nothing of interest, I'm leaving. This level though. Alright, so I'm gonna spam confused traps here. There we go. Like, you know what? I'll clean up a couple of these kills while the team goes through. They're just free badge checks. I might as well check them. We gotta wait in the next room anyway. I'm not in a rush. You cast never wants to be in the next room fast. And we've seen people get gold badges back there, so it's sometimes worth it. Uh, the only enemy in mines that drops anything of interest is the Baran, so we should not skip the Baran. Okay, we're still roughly on time here. If I do like a freeze trap here, probably get a couple kills. Yeah, Confused Traps Allure, that's actually a good combo. They should actually get us a few free kills, but we're gonna focus on making sure we get to the next room. Oh, that might have slowed me down too much. Oh, that did, that sucks. That guy blocking my path slowed my routing. That's fine. I'm gonna do a little trick to kill the entire room, so you can just leave. I'm good. Oh, and use the Lord them? Thank you. They're definitely dead now. GG. So they should hit each other to death due to Confuse, and the lore should guarantee at least a kill. Oh, but they got gelined. Oh, now they don't kill their money. Disregard. If you gel on them, they don't kill each other. The gelin is strong. No worries. Uh, I will do Twin Blaze to slow it down, but then somebody will take over. Yeah, I'm assuming it's Kazan Lock. I'll just try to slow it just a teeny bit. That's about my extent. I'm wielding my Tiki Torch. Oh. The lock was established, so I left. There we go. recovery. So we're just gonna spam some Disco. This boss should be dead in a three-hit combo with this team. I believe in you, team. I, I don't think I'm gonna press anything other than heavy special special. I think this boss will die. 
Bye, boss. Oh, uh, oh! I had I had to do a normal attack there. What a shame. <laughs> What a terrible tragedy of needing to press one more button. Guys got that, then I'm not gonna worry about it. We'll, however, grab the claws. I'm gonna go for the fast rat here. Nice, it's working so far. Clean. Got the fast strat. Although I opened these boxes ultra slow. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, Indie Belra has something of interest. Deldies have something. And the Sorcerer has something. So I'm killing this entire room. Just straight up, I'm killing them. Double Dragon Slayers. Ooh. Also, my aim is terrible today. I'm gonna put a safety free strap down. Put another safety free strap down. Did he really interrupt my combo kill? That was so rude. Perish. Not me to fire there. Dead. Oh, I'm gonna free strap and run. I'm out of there. I'm good. I'm out. <laughs> So despite clearing way more enemies, we're still here under 9 minutes. That should tell you we're on a very stupidly fast pace. Dark Falls better be hiding. The hit squad is out. We're gonna line up, get the hits here. We're gonna go for the no-hit challenge, where we try not to get hit. Nikki has failed the no-hit challenge. Forfeit their life. Yeah, it's good practice for Dark Flow. Kind of run in between. The team take care of some of the ones in the middle. Oh, maybe not. I'm pretty, feeling pretty good here. See, this is practice for when I feel like bringing out Dark Flow to just knock it hit. You can actually still... That almost was bad. Duke me a little. Do you mind? It's been a really wanted me to stick around there. Uh, so we know that we can very easily vice. Now the question is, do I even bother vicing? Because I believe the team will kill the boss fast enough. I might just L and K to set up for the next phase, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm gonna L and K. Yeah, that was a good call. I would not have been able to get out of that vice combo. Alright, so if we aim well, we can chip this boss for a thousand. Delore with Glide Divine would be nice, but not always. Oh, actually landed. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go hard this way to dodge. Sort of worked. I revive Murphy. At least there's a little extra damage. So we know a Glide Divine. We'll be able to maximize damage here. We're gonna go for two normal shot bursts because my hit isn't high enough. And it should still do like 3k with this floor. Yeah, that is the same. We almost have to tell. We made a character that was down a buff. Actually dead, GG. This team is too much damage. Too much damage, chat. Holy. <laughs> or Falls. Falls dying almost as fast as Dragon is kind of insane. Given yeah, Falls is so many more forms. Rip Falls. Let's see, we completed a very fast TTF. We did get 365 experience, so that was pretty good. I'm gonna say, for Tiggy, we'll do one more just for Tiggy. Then I'm going to sleep. It's such a fast run. I mean, when the team clears at 11:14, with a person without buffs, we 
have very fast clear potential. There we go. Mash that in our command. Imagine there's some kind of negotiation outside. We're going to do one more TTO. There we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and jump on the enemy. I still can't believe this character is still not at his max potential. He's not capped ATP still. What a monster. If I had a Centurion, he might be capped. Be very close. Oh, damage. Yeah, we'll do a Zalor here, hopefully. Otherwise, Confused Traps will uh, build them down a little. Good enough, I think. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can see the difference. Like, I'm gonna walk away and I just get three free kills. Normally, I wouldn't recommend doing that outside of special events, but if you're looking to, like, squeeze a little more, more juice out of the, uh, run, uh, pretty nice. It's more useful to do that for, uh, actually, no, it just works for everybody, directly. So you'll see us go for those cheeky kills. So I'm gonna try to pull the slime more to the left side of the room, and then I'm going to try to freeze trap the lilies. Generally, I can kill them in one combo if I get a crit on one of them. Otherwise, the worst that happens is I got a two combo. Not really that much of a time difference, to be honest. So you'll see me go for that pretty often. So I'll try to be in the right position this time, so I can save time for the group by doing this. I'm gonna walk. I think the visual cue was this. Done. I'm trying to remember how close to the crack. There's like a crack line that goes to the diagonal. I, I'm trying to remember if it was near the dark patch on the floor. I was a little further over. So I'll go ahead and speed this up. See, we can save some time here. Murphy can even slime dupe, actually. Murphy's already here. We believe in Murphy. It's gonna go ahead and set this up early. Like this. Nice slime dupe, nice and clean. I'll wrap it up, you can move on. Happy little freeze trap here. Just get them out of existence. Now that was a nice series of hits. Unfortunately, I stepped too close. In this room, I can just get Brave Man because my timing is about there. this room out a little bit and I gotta go <laughs> I'm like duping awaits pause trick through nice nice clean up the dragons and again we're not looking for rares they're just more badges anything for more badges I could do little mini steps to bring them towards me gradually that way I'm a little closer to the door and possibly lose no time I'm gonna go back for that badge though, that's so sad. Got that badge. Otherwise, you know, I'm fairly close to the door. I mean, that costs like, what, two seconds in the run to do 16 kills? Kinda worth it. Kinda worth it, Telepipa. I mean, at least during events, it's worth it. A any other time, probably not. Uh. Gio. 
Yeah, the worst that happens is somebody has to take the long walk and then they get badges, so kind of win-win. It's also just nice bonus experience for people looking to level. I forgot to see if I was invincible. I, I just believed. That was hard belief I, I was invincible, Chad. I was not paying attention. Yeah, the boss actually just can't even attack. That's so sad. I tried, though. It shot its little lasers and then kaboom. Oh, it is Masetta. I gotta pick that up. I only have to use two Jaya swings because the chat is so powerful. For teams that are underwhelming in terms of ATP, I usually have to use four or five. But the fact that I barely use two is kind of funny. I'm gonna clean these up for kills. Yeah, sadly the uh, guild chicks have a range issue. So uh, normally for other enemies, we could confuse them and lure them and walk away. Those will go to sleep if we go out of range, which is really unfortunate when it happens. And it's a big old waste of time. I need a waste of time. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some confused traps. Maybe they'll kill each other. Maybe. Oh, they got frozen. Maybe not. Alright, so now we're in a good position. So this time I'm gonna look for the visual cue. I want his body to spawn. Body is now spawned. Perish. I don't even need to detonate the trap. I'm gonna go ahead and do my little loop. So just leave the room. You should be fine. So the way I do it is if you walk around the outside of the room, when the enemy goes to punch, the enemy actually retargets at the time of the punch. But as long as I'm moving, it will never hit me. And then he'll always be in the center of the room due to how I'm kind of manipulating them. So that I just get three kills or two kills in that case. I take like a couple seconds more to get in the here, but I also just get kills, so. I'm like, hell yeah. Do what I want with it. Ideally, three of them die, but sometimes you get unlucky with if a confused trap misses them. Because they'll they'll suck onto other players, which can make them walk out of one of the confused traps early. A little unfortunate, but whatever. I'm just gonna do a couple of safety fireballs just in case. My fireball's still hitting that. That's hilarious so far away from it. Tiggy mad, smashing the screens. Get this virus out of here. You're like, be gone, Norton. Oh, the boss healed. Oh, I'll to do another attack because it healed. Oh, I should pick up the... And the 7,000. Wow, am I gonna go money positive as Hugh casts in this quest? That almost never happens, chat. That's, that, that is actually, like, you could count them on the, my hand the number of times that has happened. Uh, I'm not first in the room, so I can't do what I need. Piggy says this is a banger. The song is Battlefield Elation from Train Odyssey Nexus. So apparently, as the Lord uh, Sorcerer can be killed in one Gatling gun combo. That's interesting. A silver badge. I think he just said no to the enemy. Nope. Got some safety freeze traps. We tried. Wait, we got here before eight minutes? Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait, we did extra. Wait. No. It was, no. Team, you're too fast. We're gonna have like a ten minute run now. Not allowed to do that, team. That's, that's illegal. Somehow the team gained 40 seconds. Madness. 
didn't even do the fast clear on the sorcerer either. That was risky. And so far I'm so far I'm winning my no damage challenge. Ooh, that almost cost me. me the no hit challenge there we go see we're training we're training like tiggy will train <laughs> with the big sword we got to live up to the tiggy expectations when we whip out the dark flow i don't think i've ever heard the etrian odyssey nexus music because i haven't played the game Maybe eventually I will. Oh, this boss is so dead, GG. Uh, so I'm gonna go for the risky combo. I wanna see how much damage we can get. So if we get that early Zalor, I think we might be able to hit the boss at 8k. Based off our damage earlier, I think it's possible. Honestly. I'm gonna go for it. Oh my, oh my gosh, more than 8k. Is it 4k? What the? Somebody revived? Oh, nobody revived. Rip. Everybody went towards the boss instead of the player. <laughs> Bro, what was that damage? Yeah, see, the, I, I landed the vice hit. Can you imagine, Chad, if I just had, like, another 10 hit, I would probably have gone Sacrifice, Sacrifice. The early Zalore is really broken with you, cast. Like, it is actually insane. <laughs> like, it is, like, it is actually insane how good it is. Fortunately, we get the boss drop regardless. Wow, 10 minutes and 33 seconds. Holy. The speed kill was real. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I usually flick, see... I was in that same situation. I usually put Trimate if I'm running for solo, but I haven't done that in so long. I put it on my bar, so I just, I do both. <laughs> Damn, that was so fast. It was worth it though. That was a lot of damage. So yeah. I did, I did, I even did the risky sacrifice to put myself super low in HP. And I'm pretty sure I crit. Oh, I forgot to stock. Oof. Yeah, that was a really fast falls. Holy. Damn, this team is OP. I'm not even at my max potential still. I, don't, I still need like another 20 ATP. Just think, chat. I could be doing like five more damage a bullet. Actual insanity. Yeah, I went, I went normal, normal, special. I was like, damn, it's over. Still need another 80. Hell yeah. See that? We could squeeze out more. Yeah, I think that's it for me. Yeah, that was a really good TTF. There shows the difference, Chad. When you have when you have a uh, strong character selection and strong gear and also strong players, uh, TTF goes down real quick. We're we're not gonna go into those like 15, 16 minute nightmare scenarios with four players. I believe in the chat. But anyway, let's go ahead and chat for a little bit. So, tonight was uh, pretty successful in terms of getting people lots of XP. Drops were mixed. I mean, I guess there's Grants level 30, but I was kind of hoping to see more for the group in terms of like little mini upgrades. Like we, we did end up getting, even getting like a Galatine for a player today, which is a little sad. Or like a V101 from the green ID. Or, uh, ba -ba -ba. nothing too crazy on yellow ID, sadly. No V101s, no Xcals. So we did a large variety of things. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, really solid runs overall. So no complaints, at least on how the progress went. I think with that chat, we're going to call it a night. So let's go ahead and say goodbye both to YouTube and the stream. If you did watch at this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching, 
and hope you have a good day or a good night, depending on the time zone.